you uh, you were up there on the DPS with the hunters. Raiding yesterday. No, oh, dungeons. dungeons. You were dungeon oh, yeah. with me and Hellblade, yeah. weren't you? Yeah. Because we netted a, a couple of really nice gear. Oh, we're just missing one on Discord. I'm going to do a last call. This would be really easy considering we've you guys some of you guys have done this on the progression side. Yeah. Well, I was tank last time, so now I'm DPS. We'll, we'll figure I'll figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Vel, you know how to tank this? <laughs> oh, there's not going to be a progression raid this week, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that probably might not be. Then we might not have a cat. Well, I'll have a casual on the 26, because some people want to hop on. Would be that, but, well, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's a question. I don't know. Depends what my family's up to, because I know I got my... I got people over from like Christmas Day until at least the twenty sixth. Yeah, I'll gauge it by who's All right, online. I'll take a summons whenever. <laughs> Do I need to go out and summon someone? No, no, we got a we'll lock. Oh. Yeah, I'll gauge it. I mean, I'll post an event. Um, if we don't have hardly anyone on, we'll do something fun in in okay. in, in exchange. Um, huh, okay, so whatever gear I get here on my shaman is going to get upgraded, but if I come with a monk, I can trade pretty much anyone. Yep, I can give you assist, uh, Fel, give me a second. So the thing is, do we want to have one of the other healers go, or just five heal it, and then I can trade gear from my monk? Uh, I'll leave that up to the healers. Um, it would be nice if to be able to trade you. Uh, any of um, you healers able to do DPS? Does anybody have strength or stamina pots? I don't. Uh, check. Uh, I don't know if this. Uh, you could check and find out. Heal did five heal this. I don't know. That's because we have thirty people. Yeah, you need. Uh, I don't need five for this now. It's just one of the healers would have to go DPS just so I can trade gear, but I can just DPS my time. If it's not the you guys hear me? Uh, now we can. Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll now stay on your Simon, unless something changes. Uh, we are okay. still waiting so on for... Balrog. For our yeah. progression night, we had uh, we had less people actually. Yeah, we did. And we had to pug people. Yeah. I uh, missed that one. Hopefully the next time I can join. Actually, I was laughing. I've been watching the world first for the uh, Castle Narnia, this castle, because it, no one there is no team that's gotten to the end yet in the mythic level. Uh, limit those weapons, so general. I mean, method just got past council. Yeah. Just killed, or well, method. The old method, new echo, just killed Sludgefish and on Stone General as well. So they're all three up to Sludgefish now? Nice. They're past Sludgefish, they're on Stone General. Oh, the Stone I think, Generals, yeah. I think Limit's like 200 pulls into Stone General. Yeah. There's been some bugs and stuff. Oh, I the Stone I General has dropped the one legendary memory that I want. We good for trash? Oh, you want the blood yeah. things essence? Yep. It's a DK memory. Oh, oh, back. Yeah, I'm I'm only looking at mine. True. There's a c I have a couple of really nice memories I wouldn't mind here, but unfortunately the best one I want is the last on the la on Sir Daenerys. It sucks. Uh, we'll no, he drops. He drops. Uh, the the generals drop something called super strain, which yeah. the other like each DK spec has its own 
like plague thing. Yeah. But yeah. it lets it so that you can put all three plagues on something, no matter what wow. spec you are. For this trash, we need shamans and mages to decurse the tanks priority. Yes, so please. <laughs> yeah. There's a couple of memories in here for uh, for the rogues, but finality is the last one and is the best one. But it, to, you got to get all the way to the end, which most likely I'll have to wait until you can do the breakdown like you could do in the last uh, raid. So much wool play. <laughs> uh, there is a guild bank down over here on the right side if anyone yeah. needs food or anything from it. <clears throat> so. All right, thanks. On your pull. All right, Bill, I'll take left, you take right. Okay. Just gonna miss. All right, feel free. There we go. Oops, don't forget to um, dispel the um, tanks. Now it's going to be interesting tonight. See if we can get that second boss down and we'll be ahead of the progression team. At least we for a week. Have a better team this time around. Yeah. Higher I Some of us have a higher item level. And it's not too complicated either. Nah. Apparently you got to move the um bail on that second yeah, the, boss. The third the third part we move, but don't yeah. worry about that part. We got pretty far into the third one, but we just couldn't uh, get that down. The transition and, part was the one we we got stuck. Yeah, yeah, because the third one you can't. We really can't let them move around. And there's too many moving parts when we get to the third pet. Yeah. Yeah. And then people are taking too much damage. Not enough healer. Well, we definitely got healers today. I can tell. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Yes, it yeah. is. Uh, Bell, what aura are you wanting? Oh shit, none of my bad. Okay. I was wondering, I was like, are we running the same one? I always forget to look at that. Yeah, it took me a second to get used to it, too. I mean, I, I, it's not a bad idea, it's just another thing to watch. Yeah. All right, so we just need Valor to be here, or we will pull without him. Um, so for this fight, uh, Val, you, uh, if you were you were with the progression team, right? No. No. I was with. There's a few of us that were with progressive. Okay. Um, we're gonna tank him pretty much in the middle of the pillars. Um, no, we're gonna we're gonna hold him on skull. DPS are gonna be on X. We're gonna face him this way. 
It's a little different than we did, but Actually, we can try it. Uh, hold on. Why not? Uh, because the discs have to go out to the entrance. I'm up for trying it. I mean, if it walks, it walks. So, That's okay. All matters, really. Yeah, I'll make it easier on the healers. The way we were doing it, there was line of sight issues. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, boss will be on skull, DPS on X, move out when you get the arrow, and back and move to one the square side, preferably. Um, I don't want to cover both sides with puddles. Um, and then come on back in. Uh, second phase, it's all, all about just avoiding the th things moving around on the ground. And uh, also in first phase, we'll call when to hide behind a pillow for the sweep. Because if you get hit by that, it leaves back a, leaves a puddle. You're done. <laughs> Pretty much. Those yeah. are all the abilities that you have. Have to worry about those are all the things that you have to worry about. Yeah. Echo location goes to the walls. Just putting cheek, everyone needs the LOS every time before. Line swipe will be a tank ability if you're on melee, you need to sidestep it or you'll get chunked pretty bad. Uh, wave of blood is not very dodgeable, it can be an LOS, but it's harder for healers to heal you afterwards. Um, second phase, don't let them touch you or you die instantly. And make sure you weren't LOSing uh, shrieks at all times. Yep, so make sure you, you don't want to make the floor too, too, too messy. Yeah, so. The second phase, when you're trying to LOS, don't stand directly behind the pillars. Try to stand back, because if you get hit by one of those white circles, it's going to drop a blood puddle exactly where you're standing. So you don't want that around the pillars. That's another thing. Um, we want to try and bait the. Uh, what is it? Uh, Sonar, echoing sonar. So the reason why Val was having us stand in a certain spot is he will target one random player and he'll shoot the sonar beams out. But if we're baiting them this way, they'll go towards the entrance and all we have to do is head towards X and we'll be safe. Okay. All right. Any questions? That's probably a better explanation than our first try. All right. Ready, check, going out. Uh, when do you guys blessed? Mm, we could uh, do it when we get back to the first phase. We go back to phase one. Okay. Balrog, you're not here yet. Ooh. Let's give Balrog two minutes. So, 7.50. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> it's two minutes for him. I don't want to get want through this. To I'm going to wait two minutes for him, then I'm going to go pee. Okay, go. <laughs> Come on, Balrog. Good news. Holding us back, Balrog. Yeah, that transmog is terrible. Very questionable as a torrent. It's it was from the toy, from the oh, mult okay. molten cool. Yeah. That is terrible on tour. Very questionable. <laughs> this is my transmog. Okay. I like better. Yeah. All right, one minute, Balrog. All right, yeah, so we're going to take him on Skull facing X, and then DPS are going to be behind him. Don't be right on his ass. May they be max range from him? Yeah. That way, when he turns yes. around to do his streak, all you got to do is yeah. run this way, you know, run left or right, and head to X. Because he's not going to turn when he's shooting out his discs. And when they go towards the entrance of the room, by the time they do hit us, they'll be, be respawned. So DPS will be on X. I will be me and Tank. The other Tank will be having him on Skull facing towards us. Oh, okay. So we switched the round. And, and yeah, and when he shoots out his disc, everyone needs to move out of the way. Yeah, you'll have time. You'll see the cast, and then all we want to do is either head right or left from X, and go around to where the boss or basically where the tanks are, and just dodge. And for echolocation, uh, you've got to move to one of the marks on the side. Yep, and that's when you'll have that arrow on top of you. So you'll know when you have it. Uh, 
All right, I guess we're doing one final ready check. I don't know what happened to Balrog. He died. Hopefully not. Oh, there might not be sonar on one Yep. Oh, and he's gone from the group. Yeah, when he went offline. <laughs> yeah. All right, everyone's ready. On your pull, tanks. Oh, Martinez isn't. But yeah, every, Martinez is back. Yeah. Everyone was ready. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do it, do it. Get him down, first try. I call right. occasion, move out. Everyone that has an arrow, move to the side. Put it up against the wall if you can. Move away for blind swipe. Damn. That's close. Big heals on tanks, please. Is near this? Okay. Echo location. Hold out. Done. Everyone, line of sight, <laughs> line of sight. Behind a pillow. Good job, Perfect. good job. Just gotta keep it up. Hashtag okay. better progression group. <laughs> Start for that swipe. Location. Second phase soon. We got one more shriek. All right, everyone. Shriek LOS. LOS. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> DPS on my transition. Yeah, this is free DPS, okay. but make sure you're hiding when it's done. Yep. Alright, did I get hit? Can't touch him, get away. Get hit, yep. Try your best to avoid it. Yep, just make sure you're LS. There's no reason to pull out. Yep, uh, that, discs. that way you don't have to worry about Sweek. Sweek is about to cast, LOS. Sweek. Sweek. Okay, that was a bad spot. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shriek's coming out. Third Shriek. There's one. All right. Got... Yeah, we got hit by it a few times. Yeah. That's Lost. why we don't stand behind the pillars, because now we got some... Yeah, we need to get used to not with that. being right behind them. Yep, Lust, please. It's on. Echo, patient. It's all right. In the middle of boss fight. Like a location. Move out. Oh. All right. Sweet. Sweet. Line of sight. Cool. Good. Good. All right, watch out for the swipe. Location. All right, sweet. Line of sight. you have any self heals, use them on yourself. Help the healers yeah. out. Free DPS here. Good phase again. 
Remember, don't chance it with a shriek. Make sure you're LOS. There's no reason not to be LOS here. Yep, don't be right behind the pillars. Give it some room between the pillars. Move in, careful. More sonar. Oh, watch Shriek it. Splitting. Sweet. Okay. Shriek. Line of sight. Watch it, watch it. Line of sight. Last streak phase one. Here we go. All right. Big heels on Martinez. Watch out for that swipe. Line of sight, line of sight. Oh, no. It's okay if you're in blood as long as oh. you're out of the line of sight. Yeah, I cut that a little close. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get hit, but I was still... Close. <laughs> oh, man. That was me last week. And I got hit by that spike. And with the... Uh... The things that we're dropping to the sides, you can stack them if you can take the damage. So if you have a defensive, yeah, if you, you have can... a defensive pop it. Yeah, that's and you can you don't have to go in it the whole time. Just wait for the last second before it, yeah. few seconds before it drops off. Oh, right, sweet line of sight. If any of you were here for our old deal one Stay back there. back then, it's kind of the same concept. All right. I'm line. Gonna... Yep. Line aside. I'm um... He's going a different way this time, so be careful. Yep. Line aside. I'm kidding. Oh boy. Uh, can we get a bow away, son? Yeah. Oh yeah. He got. Damn it. Alright, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, I got grabbed. Yeah, I, I got hit uh, by one of them too. Last phase one. Alright, let's kill him down. Thank you for following, Diana. Echo location. Right, let's take him down. Omega, getting you up. Okay, he's on. Location. Right. Line of sight, line of sight. It got him. Yep, yeah, it's a little bit more. Right, just Big heels on the other one. I'm dead. Oh, um, yeah. We got him. Range, stay away if you can. Yep. So if anything, just kite. Yep. No, we got him. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Great job, Let's everyone. Try. Good job. Uh, where's Bella? Two anima. Nice job. Ooh, what's that? Oh, just anima. I, all I got was anima. <laughs> well, that's all I got. I don't. I'm not eligible for this one because I got anima at the progression rate. Oh yeah. 
Well, when we get that second boss down, you'll get hopefully get something. I'm, I want the necklace that drops off this guy. <laughs> Pure and simple. The neck. I might go monk uh, for Huntsman because if it is pretty tough, then you might need a fabulous. Okay. Careful. I'm not paying attention. All right. Good job, guys. First try. That's awesome. Yeah, thanks, Dale. Hey, we waited. <laughs> I'm cool there, but thanks. You jinxed me. I had to sit and wrap presents. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good you're helping out. Oh, we used to drink all the time at Wade's. It's nice to be drunk. Who didn't? Did people well, not loot? I... Well, some of us uh, weren't able to loot because we did it during the progressive. You can't loot the same boss twice. No, but there should be three items. I only saw one. Huh. Someone might not have looted. It's possible. I mean, it'll get mailed to you, but I mean, have the fun. Make sure you, you loot. Make sure you get your crap. <laughs> Speaking of drinking, catch up. Wait, Are you still drinking? drinking? I'm good. Oh, yep. Going down the stairs. Okay. Oh, we already. Oh, and after this pull, let's get a uh, dog monk summoned in. I'm right here. Oh, okay. Oh, Off traps. Off traps. They hurt a lot. I oh, noticed. Yeah, I noticed that too. <laughs> I didn't see any traps. I, I don't I, I don't even know what these traps are. We need to get that Hawkeye is really doing some serious damage here. Uh can someone yeah, pull him? Uh Martinez, can you equip that one in the fallback? Thank you. Oh now they're just moving away. Just the overseers back. cast restore stone, we have to make sure that we stop that. Okay. But they're immune to my grip. Oh. Hey, Dark. What's up? My demo lock now has an interrupt. Yep. Yeah, all right. Nice. I'm so happy. Well, here comes some more. Take out that one that's low, though. Huntsman. Oh, here we go. So something that something that we can do something we can do different on this that we didn't do with the progressive raid is so their health is completely shared. You do not have to focus the pet. So all the DPS can stay on the Huntsman, which is actually a lot easier. Okay. Oh, I thought we needed to focus on the pet. Okay. The no, it's a pet. complete it's a complete shared health pool. It doesn't it matter is. which one you hit. It's shared though, the second pet, you want to focus the second pet while the off uh, tank takes Huntsman away from... I ran it, like, the both times I've taken him down, we did it the opposite way. You focus on the Huntsman so that way you don't worry about people accidentally hitting the shades. Oh yeah, okay, true. This is the third one then. You want to get the third, uh... Because the bear will die before Huntsman, even if you're doing even DPS. But the third well, bear no. needs because of the mechanic that it does it but it doesn't matter which one you're hitting 
It's the amount of day like so if you hit nothing but huntsman the entire fight, the uh, bear would die at the same time. The only difference is you want to try to cleave them when you can. Okay. Is cleave slang for like share the damage like AoE style? Yes. Yeah. yeah. A AoE is okay. like multiple targets. Cleave is generally like two targets. Yeah, whatever is like right next to it. So pretty simple. I'd like to move around a lot. Okay, so do we want the D DPS to stay on the Huntsman, or...? I, when I ran it, the two times I've done it, that was a lot easier, because it's a lot less switching. That way, the only time you're ever really switching is when you're going to kill the Shades. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I can stay with the Huntsman, and then we'll go on that, if you want to try that. Yeah, I'm good with whatever is the easiest way. If staying on the Huntsman is, I'm good with that. And then that way, because usually it's more so the pet that you're going to move. So everyone stays on the Huntsman, and it's more so with the second pet, the one that does the, the healing ad, the soul. When it's going to cast Soul Rip, the tank just runs, it, runs the pet away. The second Soul Rip's cast, you can run the pet right back to start cleaving again. Okay, um, so... If we want to try that. That is a little harder for that one. You can just keep them separated. We may want to keep them separated, but it also depends on the tanks. Whoever tanks that pet, if how comfortable you feel running it out, him out in time. Um, when I did progression raid, I was just tanking the hunter. Um... Vel, were you here for progression raid? Yeah, I was the other time. Yeah, you were. Okay, yeah. So, if you want to take the pet again, that seems to work pretty well. Can somebody then, explain the fight as well? Yeah. Yeah. Um... So, more more, uh, throughout the fight, Huntsman will choose three random people. He's going to shoot an arrow that leaves a dot. We do not want those overlapped. We don't want to get two dots. So, when you see the arrows go out, three people need to spread away from each other. Uh, and then everyone else needs to move out of line so they also don't get the dot. Margor will occasionally choose somebody, either be melee or range, and we need at least three people to soak. Four or five is the best uh, to soak the charge. Uh, the second bear will come out after we kill Margor. Uh, it's four, I guess, I think, right? Yeah. Um, it needs to be taken away from the Huntsman. Um, I think it's every 45 seconds to a minute, he'll do Soul Rend, or whatever it's called. Rip Soul. The tank that's tanking Bargas needs to be topped completely. I'll call it out. Uh, and then we need the healer need to heal the soul before it hits Huntsman. Um, Bargast will also spawn one shade of Bargast. It needs to be CC'd for at least 15 to 20 seconds. It will stack up a damage dot. That when we break the CC, it will let, allow us to do more damage to it because it's going to have too much health to do regular damage to it. So we need to make sure we CC it with either a polymorph, a hex, something, and do not break it until 20 stacks. We'll call it, and then you, focus, you need to like switch focus to the Shade of Bargast and kill it. Uh, we why, kill. I'm just saying, that's also why focusing Huntsman on that part is a little easier, because yeah. there's so many times where people are using AoE and they hit the Shade, if you don't know, for this. Last phase will be Hectus. Hecutus. Um the off tank that's tanking Hecatus will need to build, let it build up five stacks and then move it. 
So we don't want to let it just sit there because it'll gain stacks. And at a certain amount of stacks, it'll just start moving anyways and release all that damage. So we want to slowly release that damage over the course of the entire fight instead of all at once. So the second tank who's doing Hecatus will see the stacks grow. They'll move it. Healers will heal. And then once everyone's stabilized, we'll stop moving. We'll move again until Hecatus is dead. Once Hecatus is dead, all we got to do is focus the Huntsman. And he's go. Throughout the fight, he'll still be doing his arrow thing that we don't want to stack. Also, uh, he's going to choose a random direction and do a barrage. Uh, there's not really a way to sidestep it. Just you know, be aware. Yeah, everyone wants to stay kind of spread out just to make it easier on the healers for that part. Okay. And then I know for DPS, there's a lot to take in if you haven't done this fight. Um, of course, once we start, you'll kind of see where how things are going on, and we'll call out what we can call out. Okay, go over the third boss one more time, because this is where I was confused during okay. the progression rate. So, Hecatus is... His mechanic is that when he's not moving, he will stack a buff. That each stack of the buff does a certain amount of AoE damage to the entire raid. Uh, the way to get rid of the buff is by moving them. So every few stacks, um, the four or five stacks, you want to move him until his stacks are clear. It will do AOE damage to the whole raid. The heroes are going to heal it up while you're keeping him still. And we're going to keep doing that over and over again until Hecatus is dead. And then, so you don't want okay. to keep him still because he'll gain too many stacks. And then when you go to move him, he will do too much damage in AOE and kill it. Okay, so, so is it better to meet him at the door that he comes out of? Um, for the transition, or is it fine? Can, it, it doesn't matter. It, either way, it doesn't matter. It's just going to be damage with the heal. One or two stacks doesn't really hurt that much. Okay. Well, at that point, it won't matter because you won't have stacks. Because if yeah. you only get the stacks from hitting you, it is well, just a little easier to do that because you can meet him at the door, and then whoever's taking the huntsman can come to you yeah so that way because we're going to want a heavy cleave at that part and then hecatus will also do two or three random people you'll get a debuff you want to drop you want to drop the swirly on the outside edge of the room or the room so that we don't have uh, pools all over the room all right that's a lot to take in <laughs> yes it is it really isn't too bad. Um, once you just catch the pattern for each dog and stuff, it's pretty easy. 20% on progressive raid night, so um, we should be able to get as long as we get the third phase down pat. Yeah, I mean, well, once we see how it's going for um, all of you that want to hear doing progressive, which also includes me, um, it'll kind of make more sense. While we're killing the shades, um, if either like the mages or somebody can just kind of spam cast polymorph, because the shades can't get a single cast off. If they get a cast off, we're probably gonna wipe. We're screwed. Yeah. So we yeah. need a uh, absolute CC. So we don't have a hunter. So one of the mages is gonna have to polymorph the shade. Um, you, can, um, you can full CC them too, because then prison works on them also. Okay. Uh, yeah. We might want to double up anyways, like hex. From a shaman and a polymorph for an imprison. As long as it's CC, it doesn't matter how many it has. Yeah. So. We figured out yesterday that if you CC them multiple times, it ticks faster, also. Yeah, it will. Okay, so talent work, you can uh, polymorph. We can have Balrog or Killarth uh, imprison. That sounds good. So Talonvolk and Polly and. Kel and Balwalk, you can imprison. Alright. Works. Alright. You guys ready to try it out? See how far we get? Actually, I wonder if my hibernate works on it. Is Vel back? Uh, waiting on him to get back. Yes, that's in phase two. You're gonna see, the pet's going to cast something called Shades of Balgros, and it's going to spawn an ad. That, that's what you need to poly. And then we just leave it there and kind of 
keep an eye on it till it gets at least about 20 stacks. Then DPS hard switches it, bursts it down, and then go back. All right, Val. How is is it getting battle? It's getting there. Also for DPS, uh, if you need to use your defensive, use them. But if it's like a longer cooldown and you can wait till the third pet, that's going to be the time you're going to need it the most because there's a lot of just raid wide damage. Uh, and then. Just so that everyone's clear and I am correct, we all just focusing on Huntsman, right? Yeah. Yeah. If okay. Multi -dine. With the exception of the second pet, when we need to speed damage the uh, ghost. Yeah, someone will call out to switch to the shade, and then just every all the DPS just go and kill it. Yep. If you can multi dot dot both, I don't think we have any multi cutters in here. I am. Your demo doesn't count. No. Look at me. Are you an affliction? I am now. Okay, sweet. You can, can multi dot. Yeah. All right. Ready to check going out. Let's. If you're not ready yet, Bell's just hit no. Dad, quit looking at poop. Come on. <laughs> oh. Okay. Probably taking the poop. You'll be fine, Bill. You got your power. <laughs> there we go. If things go wrong, just bubble. You'll be fine. All right, everyone's ready. On your pull, tanks. Mm -hmm. Neither are either the tanks Kyrian? No. Okay. I'm not. Uh, it's just because you can use the pot for the bleed from the pet. Oh, yeah, you can. Out. Stack for that. If you beat that, don't. No, no, stay, stay. I'll make sure people stack in it. Arrows, watch out. Don't stack these. Everyone else move out of them so you don't get hit as well. Yep. If you have those on you, just make sure you're not stacking with someone else that has it and don't move. Let us move. Get yeah, it? No, stack, stack. 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 Don't stack these arrows. Good job. Stack on this. You don't have to run out when you get that. Yeah, you yeah. stay in. It's going to divide up the damage between everybody, so the more people that get hit, it's not a bad thing. Yeah, so you can just stay where you're at and, and make, well, make sure people get in it. If there's not already. Here comes the stack. Huntsman's marks, don't stack them. Just don't move. Get ready to transition. 
Thank you, Vargas. I'll take take some away. Rip soul coming out. Healers on the heal the soul up. Needs a lot of health. Chub. All right. Get this. Need CC on shade. CC on shade. Don't break it. Don't break it. Keep CCing until keep, we make sure. Keep flying. There you go. Don't touch it. There we go. Arrows, watch out. Don't overlap. Oh, I need CC. Someone broke it. All right. Someone it's polyed. All right. We're good with the flies. Rip soul. Get us healed up. Someone broke CC. Oh, it's CC'd again. Where's the shade? Rip soul. Rip soul. Yeah. So much to the shade. Get the shade down. Move shade Bargas. Down. Move Bargas a little bit. Just don't want him. We don't want to keep him too close to the shade. We can stun the. We can stun the cast. Sin seeker mark. Hold on. The next shade come out. Alright, don't touch that shade. Rip souls get, out. Man, it, so did dead. it get a cast off? You got one, yeah, man. Yeah, it did. Right. Uh, both tanks today. Go ahead and wipe it up. That was a really good run, though. Yeah, that was good. I mean, now we see what um you all need to do. Did good. So we just got to <laughs> walk on after we switch to that phase. Can't break that CC. That CC right There's also a repair guy here. And when he comes out of um, when he comes out of CC and we're killing him, make sure he does not get a cast off. None. Yeah. So I didn't realize you could stun him. So I'll make sure to stun him this time. Um. Do we have any if healers that can shield? On, if there's a hunter on the side of. Uh, we don't have any hunters. Hunter. That's facing the shade that's in CC. That could have been what was setting it off. I didn't see what um, what broke the CC, but I did see some like bolts or shots going that way. So just make sure that you're not facing towards the shade, even if the huntsman is in between you. Yeah, it's if it's not far enough away, it's easy to accidentally hit it with a ability that hits multiple targets sometimes. So just gotta watch that. But that's a really good first try. Like, that's yeah. a really good first try. Okay, so I know it broke the CC. We have we had the Huntsman too close to the Shade, and Violent, Violent Plague hit it from uh, Omega. Okay. It spreads. Um, so we got to keep so, the Shade away further from the boss. So just a thought. Uh, so I'm the giant, I'm the bear. Why don't we keep the Huntsman over here? When we're on the second uh, pet, keep the huntsman on this side, and then just go from corner to corner on this side with Bargast. So like, when he first comes out, drag him over here. And when the shade drops, move him to this side. Like once the shade drops, move him over here. The shade will be CC'd over there, and that's going to give us a long time for the Rip Soul to move as well. So it gives us more time for healing the Rip Soul. And there shouldn't be anything near the shades. That sounds good. Um, yeah, as long as heels are close enough to heal us. Yeah. Well, if you if you guys are like that, the heels can literally stand in the middle of the room and be able to still get every. Like this room's not too big that it'll be too far. I'm up for trying it. Um, Talonvor, you good with being able to CC from that distance? Okay. Yeah, let's try that. That sounds like it'll make it a little bit easier for us. Uh, and I don't really know monk healers, Dark. Do you have any sort of shielding or anything? Yeah, I can bubble. Um, What's once, the cooldown on that? It's a three minute, so I'll only get one use out of it. Uh, no, I was 
just because I guess they kind of patched it. It used to be that you could full heal him up before Rip Soul, and like well, it would yes. spawn with nothing. But now it does oh. damage. Well, the goal is to have the off tank at at 100 percent, so that the yeah. Rip Soul doesn't have start at 50, he starts at 80. Yeah. It, well, no, it used to be like it would spawn with full health pretty much and instantly disappear. Yeah, they yeah they fixed that. It still has. It is just the the more health the off tank has, the more health, the less health you have to heal the. Yeah. Rip it's soul. just if you shield, if we could have shielded it makes it i think it can go above 80 even but doesn't matter all right so anyone have any questions any anything at all why is the sky blue and grass green i said really stop saying anything at all at all. <laughs> grass is green to chlorophyll and the sky is blue because of the ionization in the atmosphere. There you go. Is that real truth? Because is, is this reality or are we in the matrix? <laughs> no, we're just drunk. Speak for yourself. I'm getting there, slowly but surely. Your imagination is so good when you're drunk that you came up with this entire idea of this game. <laughs> really? Am I really playing this game, or is this all just a hallucination? When the true nature are... of reality has sobered me completely. <laughs> well, obviously, you're so... not drinking something hard enough. Oh, right, let's um... call the shade. No, you're everyone, right. Let everyone talk. needs to switch in the shade once we call it. Like, no one should be attacking the boss. We need to kill that as fast as possible. Yeah, we can't let it get any of its uh, roars off. Mm -hmm. And a pet, and you can um. Stun him, so that's yeah, always him. good. We don't want to chain stun him because he'll get the yard. So thank you for the follow, you know, Maximus. From Paladin oh snap! I uh, have that so the way it's generally going to work is by the like. So the first shade is going to get cast. You're going to want to move Bargast away from it. So like, if you're going to be on the far side of X for the first cast, move him to this side afterwards. By the time he's casting his second shade, that's about the time we're going to be killing the first shade. Like, that's just kind of how the timing works out for the stacking. And there's always going to be, there's generally always a rip soul right before the shade. So I'll go rip soul, shade, a second rip soul, and then rip soul, shade. All right, let's do a ready check. And yep, we won't, we'll always CC the set until it's time to attack it, and we'll call that out. All right. Everyone's ready. On your pull, tanks. <laughs> Pink pills a secret pill. Blue pills a secret pill. You're a secret pill. Probably. <laughs> Nothing escapes my sight. Oh, stack up. Yeah, if you're ranged and you need someone to stack with you, move them in the melee. Yep, just like you did. Good job. Alright, arrows are coming out. You can stack them. So the best advice for this is you get an arrow, unstack with the other people that have arrows, and then stop moving. It's a job for other people to move out of the way. Stack this. Scott. Stack on Mick. Right. 
Crack on butter. Let's check our melee. Guys, he's gone. Um, so far, guys, let's go right, separate it. Separate him. Yep. Bring Vargas over. Yep. Move bar gas to one of the corners, just so that way you get a little bit more room. Alright, you guys need to heal this ripsole. Alright, I'm shade of bar gas out. Just bring him in the corner over here. Valium. Watch the figure. Watch out. Watch out for the arrows. Yep. Yep, like right over there. Rip soul coming. Move bar guest. Need CC on the shade. And, uh, hard plot to the already CC in shade. Need to kill the other one. Yep. Need to CC and kill it. CC, CC. Deadly roar is coming, someone CC. Oh, I'm getting over there. <laughs> Dang. There we go. Well, two stacks. Right. Yeah, go ahead and wipe. All right, so yeah, that might have been my bad. I just took too long to get over there. So I could have stunned. We got there, we had him down to three quarters, but he still got that, uh, his ability off. I had it, yeah, last minute. I could have prevented it, I just didn't make it over there in time. Because I got stuck well, in... I tried, I tried the two interrupts that the rogue has, and it's not enough to actually stop it, so... Yeah, you have to stun him, um, yeah. I, and that's going to take multiple people. Well, I generally, just wait till he's almost done casting, and then do it, because it's going to buy you more time. Yeah, slightly. Yeah. Is it normal to have... Was there two up at once? Yeah, uh, he'll summon another one. Generally, by the time we're killing the first one, it's going to be doing a second one. Oh, okay. So then, yeah, we just have to CC that second one when we see it come out. Would anyone like some plus t uh, 18 haste food? Yeah, I'll take that if you got it. Yeah. Is that you, Drillax? Yeah. We can get it. We almost had it that time. We just got to work on stunning that shade. Thank you. No problem. Yep, buff up. Get some uh, health stones if you don't have any. Uh, would I be able to get assist for a second? I just want to try marking something. Yeah, I'll give you assist. I'll so, like back. that is what I'm talking about for the second pet. Like, keep Hunter over here. Move Bargas to or uh, to green first, 
once shades cast then move to blue and then just keep moving back and forth after you cast the shade and this way it'd be like easy to just turn around and kill the shades as well when you need to yeah that makes sense so that way basically a shade will be at one the guy will be at the other and just yeah, rotate so pretty much once he casts like the second shade you move the boss back to the other shade as well like where the other shade is if it's still up then you just can cleave if it's not still up then it's just clear this way it keeps it clear of not accidentally hitting it and getting the cc off and as soon as it's time to break cc on the first shade and start killing it the dps really has to focus on that shade because we don't want it getting a cast off and it's so much easier if there are two shades just to only deal with one yep um but yeah move I like the idea of moving back and forth between those two markers because that pretty much means when that second one comes out, you CC it, and we don't worry about breaking it. Yeah, like, we, if, we, if we really want, we can even wait for the second one to come out, make sure it's CC'd, and then kill the first one. I think there is a certain amount of stacks that, like, you don't want it to get to, but the more stacks it has, uh, the, then it's easier to kill. Yeah, let's try the first way you said. Um, I don't want to risk letting that thing being up longer than it has to be. Ugh, don't drink a hot buttered rum once it's gone cold. The no, butter gets no, all congealed it. and it's gross. Oh, oh. <laughs> Told you you were drinking rum. Uh, if you're on, you can't trade to uh, Frostman Duff? Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> yeah, tones are so expensive over here. The economy just fucking sucks on Frostman. I had to pay uh, 175k for my Lego base. Oof. Yeah. Alright, let's do a ready check. <laughs> Everyone's ready on your command, tanks. Back up, Kel, Kel, back in. There you go. Big heels on Martinez. Sack up. 
stack up on that. There you go, Omega. I understand, Val. See if you can hold in there for a little longer. Oh, Bell, dude. Ooh. So far, guys. All right, second mm -hmm. phase, I guess. Nothing escapes my sight. So what? So. That's out. TC add. Move, move Bargas, move Bargas to the other side. Perfect, just like that. I hate how seductive that line sounds. <laughs> Only slightly. Ripsaw here is on the Ripsaw. Alright, how many stacks do you have? 17. You ready to switch? Is that 20 stacks now? Alright, everyone switch to Shade. Make sure we stop the Deathly Roar. I'll get the first. Do you see that? Do you see that? Oh, well, well. Can you measure Souls out? It's done. Good job, good job. Move Bar Guest. Uh, can we get a Bow on Martinez? One minute. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, I'll try and pull big heels on Dalion. Huge heels on Dalion. <laughs> as soon as that bears is up, get Martinez. 40 seconds. You got this, Dal. Rips all. Healers. Twenty seconds of better res. I'm down. Ten seconds. Yeah. Switch the shade. No, no that's no. Nah, just wipe it. Wipe it. Yeah, you got the soul. Oh. Yeah, go in and wipe it. Interrupt. It's it's a what? Yeah. Yeah, people are on the shade killing it. We're gonna die. I'm gonna say if uh, yeah, Huntsman yeah. gets the rip soul, he gets like 200% extra damage for a minute. Yeah. I. Oh God, Val. I survived. Nice. <laughs> Where's me? <laughs> I think that was working really well, but like that though. Yeah, I think that works really well. Um, if Martinez hadn't died, I think that would have been perfect. You can uh, repair right here. <clears throat> yep, don't forget to repair. Use guild repairs. Use it so you don't have any left. We got plenty of money in the guild bank. But yeah, let's keep doing that how we did it. That worked pretty well. Um, well, you're still dropping out. Blades online. Yeah, I know this. That's perfect timing if he's able to tank. Okay, I'll give you a few minutes, pal. I'm not sure why I died. But, but you did. It's fine. Blame the healers. I was blaming the rum she drank. Not at all. 
Oh, we gotta get this in one or two more pulls. We need Doc. <laughs> Listen, you can absolutely blame the healers because I am still learning. Yes, it's the healers' fault. Always. Just blame Doc. It's always Doc's fault. No, it's mm -hmm. not. It's Nim's fault. <laughs> always. Uh, give we'll give Bell a few more minutes. See if he can um get that fixed up. Yo, I'm gonna take a shot of absence then and see what that does. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna recite my last. Playing WoW, it's more like a shot of abstinence. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Well, while we're waiting on Bell, let's take a few minute, few minute break. Use bathroom, get drinks, whatever you need. Thank okay. you, master. <laughs> and then, generally, once we get to third pet and we get the two grouped up, that's when we're gonna lost. All right, and then we just have to bring them down. Yeah, because that's really the hardest one, so you want to just do it as quick as you can. Yep, and then DPS, and I'll say this again when everyone's back. Just remember, um, after we kill that first say that was polymorphed, we go back to the boss until it's time to kill the second. So, what... I mean, if we want to get a little bit ballsy here, Yay. what we can do is, so when they do the first shade, we CC it, we move Bargast. He does the second shade, usually winds up pretty much perfectly with the 20 to 25 stacks. If we want to CC that shade, move Bargast back over to the other shade, and that way we can cleave both of them at the same time for a little extra damage. Again, if we're feeling ballsy. I mean, we can give it a start. Worst thing that happens is we die. <laughs> Ain't like that hasn't happened before. Yeah, right. These skulls are somebody else's. Can't tell if this one's a gnome or a child. <laughs> nope, no, I'm pretty sure this is Stabby's. Yeah, it's definitely Stab's. And he's teabagging his own dead body. Oh, no, my right here. We have another Volpeo? Oh, we have Kale. Um, well, Kale, Stevie just teabagged your body. <laughs> oh, he does it all the time. That's okay. I was going to say, not that any of us are surprised. Yeah. I see my big skeleton over there by Skull. Wait, you talked about me? He's dead. Teabag in my body? No, uh, no, no. um, tell him. Not yet. There's two tells. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is. I'm the, I, wow, I'm the only torn in the weight group. I just realized that. Alright, well, I'm gonna get me a drink.
Kerosene and sugar mix. Oh, and I'm back. All right, Val. Has it gone down at all? Almost did. It did right after you left, and then it jumped back up right before you got back. Oh. I'm just saying. Apparently, I must be bad luck. Is that new, Dal? Yes. I've always the good luck, right? <laughs> Fizz, if you want to, that's fine. You can. Um, Dark is going to have to leave here in a few pulls anyway, so if you want to switch to CPS for a bit. Yep, I agree. All right, what are you thinking, Val? Yeah, Dal, I see a lack of um, wisdom. Ah, uh, those that doesn't exist anymore. Oh, dude, it's totally like bone now. <laughs> you didn't use it enough when you had it. So they took it away. Uh -huh. like, it forever. Oh, it's not like that is what got us past the first boss in BOD after a month. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we got stuck in that boss for a month. Mick remember us? Bell remember us? What's that again? Or he forgot to use wisdom on us. On oh, the yeah. Oh, yeah. And then um, the moment he put that on, we won the boss. The boss. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, was... I remember that. Oh, we, don't have it. we don't have it now. Thanks, Del. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, <laughs> it's your call, Val. You can um, drop or you can fly. Up to you. Uh, I don't think so. I wouldn't be good. All right. Maybe, wait. Um, normally, I don't think this would do anything, but try putting your graphics on low. I already lowered them. Oh, okay. Oh, is um I know with Shadowlands go into network is the optimized and still enabled because it disabled it when they released Shadowlands. Just turn on the enable. Okay, that's graphic graphics are at a one now. Maybe that's enough. If you got optimized network speed and PV, IP voice and six. I can hear the lag in his in his pocket. <laughs> yeah, I I can too. I'm just trying to. A little bit of slight reverb behind it. We were getting ready to bash out a mix. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. All right, Val. Up to you. I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for the um, first boss and the few pulls on the second one. Yeah, totally. Thank you for coming. Yeah, did good. I'm not saying no. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, do we have another tank? Um, also, yeah, I'm about to whisper him. Also, if there's any blacksmith in this group, Tyrodel could use a blacksmith in the guild. Yeah, he's looking for the Shadow Steel Pauldron. Uh, give me a quick, like, a few day, like a day and a half, and I'll have another thing in the day. Okay. I mean, I know we got backups. So. Next week, I'll have a healer. My druid will be up. Nice. I'm waiting to apply from Hellblade. And my paladin will be done in a couple of days. Well, here we go. I need to level up my priest. Oh, cool! And we have two. Then we'll have two pally healers. Couple pally tank. Couple pally 
kill. I'm missing my warlock buddies. I'm the only one here. <laughs> yeah, we need to what's up with Miz. I haven't heard from Miz in a little bit too. Mm hmm I need to message Miz and see how she's doing. I know she's been walking a lot. Well she was working a lot and going through some stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh come on help late. Reply back. I'm happy he's back on. We still got a uh, keystone from yesterday we got to finish off. Oh, okay. Yeah, what's up with that? Every time somebody in our guild disappears, they're going through the deed. <laughs> what's up with that? I mean, that'll take you away from WoW. Yeah, it definitely will. Okay, Lorth. Where did Sour go? Where did Elbow go? Uh, I whispered him. He hasn't responded back. You call for me, Dal? Yes. You need me to tank? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess I can. Appreciate it. Huh. It might just be this raid, well, with all of us here. You want main or off tank? Uh, off. All right, Martinez, you left the main tank. What's going on? You're main tanking now. So I'm taking the pet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you need anything explained to you, Kel? Uh, just tank. Tank the huntsman, I guess. Take the, hunt, take the huntsman on the skull, and um, for the first pet, switch off. Uh, when we get when one of us gets a stack of two, of the debuff from the pet. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with your connection, um, Bell, but I hope it gets better. Also, there was less po people in the progression way too. Yeah. Hopefully. Um, I do have to wait up for next week. It just, whether we do it or not, it's just going to depend on who we have online because I know it's the day after Christmas and we all have family coming in and we're going to family. So. I thought you were going to switch the progressive way, to the uh, progressive one to Wednesday. <laughs> Whatever um, Sam decides to do with that, I don't know. Yeah, progression almost had the boss down. All right, everyone's ready. Let's get back to this. I got me some Coke and rum, so I'm good. I got me some rum and some Pepsi, too. <laughs> <laughs> I needed my rum back up so I don't have to worry about the stagnant butter. Till it cools down again. It'll be gone by then, Doc. <laughs> she learned her lesson the first time. I hope so. It's like kerosene and LSD mixed together. <laughs> oh, this is the last pull that we don't here with us, so let's make it a good one. On your pull. One back a little bit. Nothing escapes my sight. 
back up. Stack up with the stabs, there you go. Uh, big heels Tell on you gotta Martinez. Take there you go. And once you get two stacks, I'll switch it from you. Big heels on the tanks. All right, so we should be going to the next tank boss on uh, tank hunts. Is there. Yep, tank huntsman on skull. Take the huntsman over. There you go. There you go. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Big heels on Martinez and Kel. No heads uh, up. Uh, grab the tank. Grab, grab the um, huntsman. Oh. All right, wipe it up, wipe it up. Rez is down. <clears throat> My pets will enjoy gnawing your bones. All right. You kind of see what we did there, Kellor. Well. How did um you lose Agro though? That's what I want to know. Me? Kel. Or, or whoever was on the main I boss. I have no idea how I lost aggro. Uh, Yep, thanks for um, joining us. Let's See you later. Alright, Bezlek, you want to go back heels? Thank you. Yeah. Um, do you want five healers on this and I can go heals? That might be smart. Five heels. Yeah, I'll go heels. We're gonna need it. It's a 
It's a particularly heavy heels. Class. Yeah, it is. It is. What with the whole soul thing. Does anyone have repair, or do I just need to run out the door? I just want to repair the guy or two. Yeah, there was supposed to be a repair guy. There's a guy at the end. There's a guy when we respawn. Okay, I'll I'll chicken can drop a hammer for you. All right, I'm coming. I'm just I must have just ran past him. And just yeah, I ran past him too. I didn't repair you at all. I was thinking. Yeah, he's a little tiny so dredger like dude on the right. Oh. Okay, yeah. That's not the white hammer, Al. <laughs> oh, there's a guy. We might not have a hammer. <laughs> Wait, Bell back? Or is he test? Oh, Bell's still in the group. I forgot. He's DPS. Okay. So is it safe for me to come down? Is there an actual... No, no, no. there's not. No, yet. Don't come down. <laughs> he dropped an anvil. All right. I just realized, um, um, why am I blanking on his name? Our hunter that has been in almost every way isn't here today. That's me. I do hunter. Oh. Yeah, I'm glad you're here, but I'm really glad you're here. <laughs> Yeah, Sunal, that's who it is. Sunal. Yeah, he always has a hammer. Yeah. So a lot of people doesn't know we have the Yeah. It's expected. Yeah. Wrong anvil, wrong owl, I guess. <laughs> it just helps. I don't want to. It may be the thing to do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, sorry, I kept getting spun around because one person said, yeah, I had something. <laughs> So then I stopped and started running down, and it was like, oh, no, no, wait, that's not going to work, so I turned back around. Yeah, I'm sorry. We thought we had one, but it's the wrong anvil. There's already yeah. some beer sitting around me and other things. <laughs> Don't confuse me. And we're just all a little tipsy, that's all. All right, let's see who's here. All right, we're just waiting on Bear's luck to get back. I'll do another ready tech here in a minute. Do another shot of moonshine, Bill. I have not opened that moonshine yet. Do a shot. Go do a shot real quick. You trying to get me killed? I'll see you get you killed. Just go do a shot. Where's your shot? I already did a shot of absence, bro. <laughs> Where's your salt, Martinez? Tasted like licorice. I'm drinking an IPA. <laughs> I'm grabbing a beer. I'll be right back. Okay. Nice. Which IPA? Hold on. Oh, it's a it's a local brewery from uh, some family brought it into town. Two balls. 
in Niagara Falls? No, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm up north. Oh, I'm, no, I'm up north. I'm in Canada. I'm just outside the uh, Crafters Brewing in Hamilton. Ooh. No, I'm, I'm around Fargo, so. Yeah, I'll, I know where that is thanks to work. Go do your shot. Go yep, do that's your true, shot. Andadar. Kitchener, I've been to for work as well. <laughs> Not that bad. Got a few nice craft brewers out there. And then the story she started with the whole mine. Yep, I'm all the way down in Georgia. Georgia. Yep. Put the and go do a shot. Good rum. Go do a shot. I don't want to open that moon sign yet. Oh man, it's good. You're gonna really like it if it's the apple pie moonshine. I know. I tasted when it. When we get to the moonshine, Dal, I'll get to the moonshine. Don't tempt me. Hey, y'all mess around. I'll I'll mail you some absinthe, and then you can get down like I am right now. I got ya. That's the absinthe with the wormwood in it too, so it's gonna be real good. I think I've had that once, Fell. I'm not sure. Ooh, if you're going to do sake, just do soju. You really want to get messed up? Do some soju. It's only Saturday. It's not like I'm working very hard tomorrow. <laughs> uh, just waiting on Bear's Lick. Jarlax, if you've never done sake, do, I meant soju, get some soju. It, I gotta, oh, apparently I gotta do some soju. <laughs> Ooh, I got some really good uh, grapefruit soju the other day. Good shit. <laughs> it will mess your face Grapefruit up. soju. Welcome back, Bezlik. Let's do this. Oh, where's Telenor? <laughs> Hopefully back. There it is. All right, everyone's there ready. All right. All right. Let's get him. Don't lose aggro now. I'll try not to. <laughs> I will die instantly. Oh, wait. I'm healing. Duh. Watch out for tell those me when he says that he's not being seductive. That is gross. Try to tell me. That is pretty gross. Every time he says it, it makes you feel dirty. That too.
Big heels on Martinez. Good. Okay, thank you, thank you. Second boss. Yep, next phase. Good job. Gonna move him to one of those mockers. Ripsaw. Need help you on this ripsaw? Walking on it. BTC. To be healed up. Good shit. Let us know when to switch to the shade. Ripsaw. Need help on the ripsaw? It was down a lot. It's a big fully healed. There we go. Where are we at on that? 21 stacks. Uh, let's get them down. Everybody switch. DPS switch. Ripsaw. Yep. Make sure to stun him. Don't let him get those things off. Move. Good move. Big heels on Martinez. Need to see. Oh, thank you, whoever that was. Alright, back to main boss. Back to main boss. My pets will enjoy uh, were you Let's standing in the air Oh. Soul. Need help on the rip soul? Walking on it. I died. Oh, boy. Uh -oh. I died. Wipe it up. Well, we got past the first shade without an issue this time. Yeah, that first one was really smooth. I have to go back to my mom. Dang, well, that well, was well, top DPS. Okay, I gotta ask the question because during the conservative. Uh, progressive games. We were getting to the third guy by having the DPS concentrate more on the pet than on the actual guy. It's um shared health pools, though, I believe. Yeah. We, we seem to have a, big, a better control over when he does the souls and everything else. What's the mechanics for when the souls are released, um, Vital? What do you mean? Like, is the souls released on a, like, consistent timer, or...? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Like, if it's a minute, 30 seconds, or whatever it is. Okay. Well, I have just been informed. You have me for one more, and then I have to go help for at <laughs> Okay. And, and then you have to what? Help wrap more gifts. Oof. Yeah. Christmas is a demanding time. And then healers, we just got focused on those souls when they come out. Um, that's up to the healers purely. Yeah, we gotta. Uh, whoever's like the tank for that pet, we just gotta make sure we're topping them off better, because we had a couple that were really close. Low. Uh... Rip souls. Yeah. And and because I'm a melee heal, I, I was sticking with Kel to keep him healed up. Um, would it be better if I go over there and help heal over there, or what do you think? Uh, I feel like that, if, since we have five healers, we could probably, because of the way we're doing it, where most of the DPS is on Huntsman, if we have like two healers be on the pet tank, that might be enough. Because I've kind of been doing that. I've kind of been sticking on Martinez. 
or whoever is doing I'd the pet. I take your company now. That way we can try and keep the whoever's taking the pet topped off and might even be able to handle the soul ourselves and then they can focus on the rest of the raid. Oh. And then we can always just give a call out if we need them to turn and help with the soul. Oh, I, yeah, I'll stick with um whoever's tanking the pet then. Yeah, so that me and you be... will do, me and you will do that, and then, uh, so then Bezle, Owl, and Kiel can focus will... on the rest of the group. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's see how that works out. I think someone said they'd be back. Let's do a witty check. Yeah, but that was a really smooth um, first seat, though. That was good. We just got to get through the next. <laughs> All right. So we're just waiting on um, Kel Kellum. No, Kelloth to get back. Hey, come get your mandatory raid outfit. Maybe I don't want to. Welcome back. It's mandatory. <laughs> Actually, yeah, everyone get get one and line up. I want to get a picture of this. <laughs> come line up beside me on both sides. I'm not getting here. You have kids. Well, I'll go at the end of the line then. No, that's just alcohol breath. <laughs> Oh, what? Uh, Bill, come over to the other side. Thank you. Three, two, one. There we go. All right, ready to check going out. Yo, yo. Remember, don't forget, you have health stones. If you don't have one, grab one. You can use that to help heal yourself, help the healers out. Everyone's ready? On your pole, tanks. Oh, Bell, if you can switch to a different aura, I need devotion for healing. Swap kill. Oops. Nothing 
Alright, get ready to swap over. Uh -huh. That one's not too bad. Oops, all incoming. Yeah, that's a much better risk. There we go, yeah. That's a good one. To take off 30% of the damage. You can have, what's the cooldown on it? Three minutes. Oh. Well, at least that's one. I've got another one for 20% that I'll try to use. Okay. Ripsaw coming up. Switch to the shade. Everyone on that shade. Don't let it cast anything. It's done it. I don't have another one. Get ready to Ooh. move our guest. Let's get that other yeah. shade CC'd. CC that He's shade. Hibernated. Okay, thank you. Ooh, there's a lot of damage. Let's get big heals out. So. Remember when we when we do go to that set, you gotta stun it to stop it casting. Group soul incoming. So it's a shade. Everyone on that Ready shade. Stun him, stun him. Okay, good job, good job on the shade. Keep it up. Big heals. Whip souls out. Yeah. Almost got a top top already. Nice. Uh, Talonfall is taking a lot of damage. Yeah. Cannot let him die. We need him for the shades. Whip soul. Kill the shade. Kill the shade. Everyone on that shade. Everyone on shade. Focus down that shade. Get him down quick. Don't move Hercules. Move the huntsman over you. Move huntsman over here. Kill Thing? the shade. Lust, lust. Lust. Thank you. Remember, drop puddles out of the group. Yep. Watch the arrows. Do as much cleaving as you can. I'm out of mana. Uh, Palaguez on Martinez, right now, please. Get him up. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep it up, we got this, we got this. Ah, uh, Martinez is uh, dead again. again. Yep. Get that Palaguez. We need to move the guy. If he has too many stacks, move him. There. Yep. Ah, there's too much stacks I on that, that guy. We need to move him, should have been moving him more. Yeah, you have to move him. The All right, way. I'll keep him. I I thought we were able to keep him at higher stacks, but I'll move him at like four stacks. Okay. That's probably better. That was my bad. So, All right, good job, guys. We got through the second phase. That's good. That's good. Good job. It was really smooth. Yeah.
Yeah, I think it works better like that. Like yeah. having dedicated healers for that. Yeah, because that helped out a lot. We were able to easily get those. Um, yeah. As I say, I feel like part of our problem though is we're not that like our DPS isn't doing good enough. I think per our ratio, we might not have enough DPS. Yeah, the I DPS might be slightly low, and that's expected because we're really doing this under the item level. But I think well, I with mean, the more new... so that we're we're what is it two five seven? Yeah. I was gonna say so like. He's gonna have more, a lot more health, like compared to what our DPS is gonna be. Just because usually, if you have like five healers, you're gonna have. Oh yeah, we did have some some people drop off too. Yeah. I didn't account for that. Heals were pretty. Even with five healers, we were not struggling, struggling, but some ports. Yeah, if you want to, like, DPS on the side out chicken, that would be good. But I think, what yeah, what you said, we were, having dedicated healers helped out a lot more. But we got this. We got it. Got through that second phase. We got a... F that a feast? It's a big feast. That sounds good, Al. Got a feast down, make sure you eat it. I did not repel, that's probably gonna bite me in the ass later. <laughs> Could make the difference between winning and losing. All right, the outfits are back up, go get one. <laughs> no. I don't wanna. If you don't put one on, you won't be angry, you just be really Really disappointed. And kind of mad. Thank you for the feast, Talonville. I might not be able to tank as well. <laughs> Should I be so disappointed? That's black. And then as we pile up more feasts in the guild bank, we'll start using them more often. We're just yeah. kind of low on them. Start I'll guys. start farming some more for the mats. All right, ready, check going out. Let's do exactly what we did last time. Good job, guys. We got this. Doing good on mechanics. Remember, take a horse uh, health stone if you don't have one. Hey, that's fine, Val. We got more tanks. You're not the only tank in the guild anymore. Whatever makes you happy. Yeah, that was good. We did good. Just when we get to that third phase, we got to move that barrel probably, like you said, at four stacks. All right, everyone's ready. On your guys' pull. All right. Swap. Big heels on the tanks. Swap. Escapes my sight. Marble makes them 
Alpha. Get rid of switch. Alright, second phase. I got aggro. I got aggro. I got aggro. You don't know what? Uh, you. Thank you. I think it's because I healed White when he came out. You might need help with this rip soul. Okay, on it. <laughs> Rip soul coming. That was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, I used the skill again. That helps. Uh, big heals on Kale. Don't let him die. He's getting low. Thank you, thank you. Rip soul on eight. On the end. Uh, big heels on Martinez. Switch the ad. Everyone on that ad. Don't let it get any casts off. CC the other one. Good yep, job. We're getting very clean with those. Yep. Rip soul coming. Ripsol coming. Oh, those are good whip souls. <laughs> Get, swap to swap to add. Everyone on add. Everyone on add. Other ones hibernate. Make sure we get CC on that. Oh. Big heals, big heals. What are we... What am I getting hit by? It's... We lost two. We got that whip soul out. Let's get it, get it healed. How many wazers do we have? I've got one. Green Bell, Mandalorian, area. Yep. Everyone. Add. Move, to move bar gift, move bar guest. Just because you're going to have to go over there. Pick up Hercules, pick up Hercules. Kill the shank. Everyone on that. We need to get this rip soul guy. Oh. Did we get him? Yeah, stun, stun that ad, stun that ad. That's Ooh. Yeah, that's a wipe. Well, we got a little bit sloppy at the end, but we did get back to the third phase. We just gotta have those stuns. I'm down. Yeah. And I have to go. Alright. Thank you for that joining. No, well, let's give it a few more tries. Don't forget to appeal. Thank you. Uh, we so, can... we can definitely go oh, down yeah, a healer. I was going to say, yeah, we can probably have a healer swap. 
Um, I have you, like half the time. Have you talked to Hellblade yet? He never responded, and then he logged and came back on. Oh, huh. well, he's on again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you could whisper him for me. Oh, yeah, I can. So, do you guys want me to go um, DPS, or when do you want to go DPS? Stabs is back on, too. He, I think uh, he's done for tonight. I think I'd rather have you stick as heals, Del, just because you were doing the most, and I feel like you also have like more burst healing, which is good for when that rip soul is out. Yeah, most of my healing is burst. Um, do, can any of our other healers go? Oh, Bez, like you want to go DPS? I almost forgot you can go DPS. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we got Bell that has a stun. Will the um, does does Salmon have any anything that can stun in DPS? Okay, good. That should help. Well, I can hibernate them that um doesn't have a cooldown or anything like that, so I can spam it. You just gotta let me know when it's needed, because I'm usually. Healing. Casting it on the one that's coming out as well. But we got to make sure we're keeping it on the one that's uh, oh. we're trying to kill. Okay. Yeah, we were doing it pretty smoothly. I feel like we've got the mechanics to it. We just got a little sloppy at the end, though. Um, but yeah, I can call it out so we can make sure it gets stunned one way or another. Yeah. That's, um, yeah, that's going to be the hard part. <laughs> I, I don't think we got to worry so much. I think between the, the polymorphs and my hibernate, I think we'll be all right. Yeah. Um, is there anyone that's able to call out? I guess, Bell, can you call out when we need to go kill the ad, and then I'll call out when he's casting. Okay. Okay. Thank you. One second, guys. All right. How dare you. <laughs> <laughs> if we get this boss down, we will progress farther than the progression group. All right. Close her up, you know the drill. <laughs> I think it's bad luck to gear us up because we're not winning by doing that. But we weren't um, winning when we, we weren't doing it either. We got the closest doing that. Excuse you. So. Yeah, we do also have the advantage. We do, The casual is on a Saturday, so we have more of a play your base online. Lambs oh. into it. And then the people who are in both kind of know more what's going on. Yeah. We have a few advantages. <laughs> Sometimes we need it. Yeah. That's the downside to weekdays. But it's good for the people that can't hop on on the weekends. All right, ready, check, going out. <laughs> yeah, one of these days we'll have to get you through some mythics, get you some gear, along with some other guildies as well. I've gone up five item levels since last week. I've gotten nine so far this week. I was trying to squeeze enough to get to the 175, and I've just kept on going. Dang, Vanville, you got lucky. Run at least one mythic keystone with me after this, so I can get the weekly for the uh, Grand Vault. That's no problem. I got a I'm... keystone. I'm down for that. I need three more. <laughs> 
The only <laughs> keystone that I have is Necrotic Wake, and I don't want to run Necrotic Wake. My keystone is Hails of Aton Halls of Atonement. Level three. Love, yes, that. Love that. I got yeah. Necrotic as well. If I could, if I could run Theater of Pain all the time, I would do that. Love that. I need though. to go in Theater of Pain. There's a except for that last boss. That last boss is hell. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta run Plaguefall. I need that memory that drops on the third boss. Yeah, I can probably heal at two or three as well. I, depending on the dungeon, I can probably heal high, but I don't have many AOE heals. If we have enough for two groups. We'll get two groups going after the I would the wave. love to do Halls of Atonement. It's no problem. I'm up for some dungeons after this. No problem. I always want to get more gear. There's a neck on the first yeah, boss that I There's want. There's a neck. Hold on. There's a neck on the first boss. Hold There's on. a necklace on the first boss. I need to it's check. 184. I'm going to say two or three more pulls, and then that'll be the end of it. I really need to get rid of my Heart of Azeroth. Yeah. I just, I still think it's funny as hell that I'm at level 177 with a 139. <laughs> hey, Mike, think if, it's... If the neck drops for me, I'll give it to you, but... All right, ready to check on out. Welcome back. Yeah. Perfect timing. Give it two or three more pulls, and then we'll call it. I know we can get it, guys, though. I know we can get this boss. We know that we can get the first two pets, at least. Mm -hmm. We got a lot better at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, this is just, this is how you progress. You just keep going and keep learning. Yep, practice makes perfect. Everyone's ready? On your pull. <laughs> hey, Bell, switch to a different aura, please. I need devotion for my, <laughs> any other one. I need devotion for... Healing. Thank you. And we'll do the same thing for a second pet. Me and Dal will be on it. But I'll yep. try to help out with some hots on the group as well. Okay. Just in case, because I don't know if it's, they're going to be able to handle everybody. Yeah, um, it'd be good to do that. I don't want to whisk it. That's the nice part about druids. You can just be lazy and hot everybody. <laughs> yeah, I missed that about druid. Pet my druid. I haven't leveled him up yet. Yeah, but don't, don't get hit by that whole thing. <laughs> No, we're just finishing a cast. Don't let Talonvor die, please. Whip Souls coming up. 
Can have a shade coming. Healing to the soul. There we go. Nice. Good job. Call it out when we need to switch, Val. Yep. Rip soul coming. Switch now. Oh, everyone on that shade makes it a stun it. I do not want to see a cast go off. Stun it. There you go. Good job. Good job. Might need help with the rip soul. Oh. And if I didn't even see that whip soul. Yeah, I got mixed in there. Um, watch your back. There you go. Mm -hmm. That should be a good whip hold. Yep. You got it? Rip soul incoming. Everyone on the shade. Big heals on Kel. There's two of them. Make sure we're getting both. Move the boss. Move hunter. Move hunter. Move hunter. Need help with soul. Need help with the soul. Oh, that's, oh, that's too close. I think we go. Yeah. Big heals, big heals. Did one of the souls get to him? Yeah, one of them got to him. Oh. Yeah, definitely got to him. All right, let's give it one more try, guys. One more try, and then we'll call it. And that ending, another successful hunt. He sounds such like an arrogant little <laughs> Yeah, makes you want to kill him. Why don't we? All right, let's use everything we got for this. If you have a beast, oh, I get a piece out of the guild bank. Oh, right, what kind of feast do we have? Guild bank down. If you need any anything from it. All right, be back in a second. All right, putting feast down. Feast is down. <laughs> Makes it to grab your health stones if you don't have it. It really helps the healers out. You'll use them. It's going to be last pull. We can get them. We've been doing good. We've been learning. I know we can get it.
All right. Welcome back. That one has any cooldown at all? <laughs> Apparently not. No, not at all. Cooldown is reduced during the Feast of Wintervale. Oh, of course it is. Oh, nice. <laughs> all right, shall we kill him? Uh, yep, everyone's ready. Skip blood. If you have, if you have a buff to give us, give us a buff. And on your pull. Let's do this, guys. Watch those arrows. Squat. All right, second phase. Oh, bow with me, please. Gotcha. Thank you. Gonna need help on this rip solo. Oh yeah, big help. Good job. Okay, you good? Heels on Martinez. Rip soul coming. This soul has no name. Watch that arrow. So sad. Everyone to say, take down that say. Don't move our guess yet. Don't move our guess yet. Wait. Good Wait till we cast again. There you yeah. go. Ooh. Ooh. 
Very clean, guys. Good job, good job. Rip soul coming in. Watch the arrow. Dang, he's lacking. They put it on me today. Big heals on Talon Wolf, don't let him die. Uh, whip salt. There we go. Yeah. Switch the head, switch the head. Everyone on the side. It's done it. It's casting. Done it. Thank you. Watch the air well. It kills on Cal. And Mick. Quick, 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 quick. Oh Only. god. Almost there, almost there. Okay. Oof. Switch switch to Ed, switch to Ed. Bring Huntsman over here. Yep. Kill okay. the Ed quick oh. Oh god. Kill the Sade, kill the Sade, focus on that Sade post. Uh Balways, Balways. Oh, that's not good. Stop him from moving. You can't forget about those shades, guys. Yep. Let's just practice it at this point. I'm down. Yeah. We're, we're all down. <laughs> yeah. Or got him underneath 4 million. Yeah. What percentage is that? 50, just over 40. 40 percent. 40 40%. Okay. So that, that one. But once, once you kill the last pet and he doesn't have any pets left, the Huntsman takes 100 percent extra damage. Ah. So once you get the pet down, it just you you cleared it pretty much. So in other words, once the third pet goes, just keep on hitting the pet, the pet, the pet. Well, no, because even if you hit even if you hit the huntsman, it hits the pet. Like it, it doesn't matter which one of them it hits. Their health is going to go down at the same rate. If you can hit both of them at the same time, then it counts twice. That's why if you can handle it, what you can do during that second pet phase is you bring the pet to the Huntsman, you damage them both. When Ripsoul's about to come out, you move the pet so that the Ripsoul's far away and then move the hunt the pet right back in. Yeah, it's just a... So that way that phase goes quicker, but it's a harder to do. Yeah, so we, we went for the easier route on that. But that's a good job, guys. I mean, we got the first boss down, got him down to around 40, second boss around to 40%. We were doing it really clean there at the end. So good job. We'll get him down next week. If, if we wait next week. We figured out the mechanics of especially that second pet. I think we got that really smooth. Yeah, no, we were doing really smooth. I, it's, it seems to be what got us both times was the transition from the second to third pet. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what we're going to have to practice at. Um, but, I mean, next week, I don't know if we're waiting or not. It's just going to depend on who's on. Um, yeah. If not, it'll be the week after, maybe, because that happens to be on the second. <laughs> um, but thank you all for coming out tonight. Good job. Did really well. And okay, look... who's... Yeah. Oh, yeah. me, me, me. And then whoever wants up for the uh, dungeons, yep, wants to group up for the keystones. I'll do that uh, 
later. I'm just going to grab dinner first, and then, yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> I'm going to get off for a little bit, but I'll, I'm down uh, when I get back. I'm sticking okay. around for a little bit, but I'm going to do some dungeons. Mythic All right, dungeons. I might run a few heroics. Whenever people come back, just let us know. Oh, it looks like um, Bezlik and Birdo are available now, if anyone wants to group with them. Bezlik, yeah, I'll group And Vanvel, and Kellyan. That's fine. Yeah, I'll go as well, if there's room. Yeah, that's no problem. No problem. Well, I think Kellyan wants to do heroics. I think me and Bezlik were talking about doing keystones. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll take... um. Kel for keystones. Yeah, I'll take Kellyan and we'll do a um heroic group. So who else wants in on the heroic group? Anyone? Once we get done with mythics, maybe. Yeah. Alright, who do you got? Uh, I guess for the mythic keystone, um type one in guild chat, I guess. Okay. This is too many people. <laughs> Alright. So Mokos will be ladle. You guys need a tank, so yeah. that'll be Martinez. And you guys can choose for your last DPS. Uh so we need right here. Two DPS. I'm a DPS. So it's between Jarlex, Talanovor, and Vandoral. Talanovor said that they would come in later. Alright. Alright, so that gets Jarlex and Vandoral. So that gets you guys all grouped up. Now I do have... Right. On the dungeon one. Alright. Alright, I do have um, a tank spot open and two DPS spots for heroics. Let me see if Guild Set has anyone. And then if not, Kalyan will just queue for queue for it. If you're saying anything, it's not coming through. Now is it working? Now it's working. Goddamn stupid. <laughs> no, it's got like a huge giant button on the side. So if you like tilt your head and like hit it with your shoulder and you're not realizing it. Oh, it, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah. So, um, no, I have um, troubles at home. I'm almost completed with one of those and that will be my third calling that I need to get complete. So if no one wants to roll, I'm going to go finish that really quick since I'm so close to it. Okay. And then probably do some Torgash, um, because I'm trying to still get all my stuff up. I need like the um, the thingamabobbers from the conduits or whatever the hell they are. The ones I need are from different um, Togas levels, like something the oh, I don't know where the ones that aren't available this week. So now I'm just pretty much running everything for gear and or the, you know, stuff. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we do have people, though. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, I know Torghast has quite a few things. It just can be a pain until you get a little gear. So when it says that something's not available, uh, three plus in the whatever the name of the place, um, I have to try for it at least from level three and higher, right? Um, can you kind of explain what you mean? Wait, hold on. Because I think I know what you're saying. I just want to make sure before I start saying. <laughs> so you mean like for your item? So that one. Uh, drop is in Torghast, Tower of the Hands, 
uh, school calls layer three plus. Yep. So any it can drop from layer three, any layer at layer three or higher. Okay, so it's not okay. That's I wasn't sure if that meant like some sub layer or if it was actually the one, two, three. It actually starts. Okay. Yep. So once you get to layer three, and any layer you do above that has a chance to drop it. Okay. From the last boss. And then you know I have another really stupid question, but it has to do with those chests. The weekly chest now, I don't really fully understand. It's the same as it's always been. It's just showing you what you can do now because they've given more options to get a chest. So instead of just doing mythic keystones, you can do three bosses in the raid, a mythic keystone, or do PvP, and it'll give you that chest item. Oh, okay. So, okay, and then that's how it bases the gear on the highest level of whatever thing you were doing. Okay, Yep. perfect. And then just Thank the you. you're welcome. The more you unlock, the more choices you have. You can still only choose one item. Nope, and that's fine. That's what I was thinking it was, but I was just like, eh. yeah. It took me a second to figure out, and I actually wasn't sure until I opened the chest the first week, and I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense now. That's what I figured. No, I have um, man, ten, twelve hour days right now. It has been crazy. So next week, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, will be crazy, and then. Fucking Thursday will be dead. Friday we have off, anyways. Oh God. But yeah, I've been. I think I pulled almost a thousand miles last week. Ooh, oh, that's crazy. Yeah, it's just, and before Christmas, everyone wants their shit fixed. But um, so yeah, I just like uh, last night, like a little bit Thursday, and then Friday night, and then today. It, it's just been like my like okay I'm gonna fucking get caught up and get all this figured out day, <laughs> and that's what I've been doing all day. <laughs> I went to the store like picked up some snacks and stuff for my daughter. Um, my husband is out of town for the weekend with his brother. They went to go do some stuff, and so the daughter and I have just been eating cupcakes, hanging out, and just playing video games all day. It's been awesome. Yeah, that sounds like a good day. And my husband's like. Because it sounds like it's pretty relaxing, and I'm like, dude, I have no idea. <laughs> That's so needed. So yeah, I actually didn't even hit level or eye level for this until like 11 o'clock this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, you made it. Oh, God. All right, so I just need one more DPS, and then we can do a heroic... And we'll just have to explain to Miss Cal, but I think we'll be okay. You good with? Um, uh, it depends on which ones we pick, or which one we go in. Most of them aren't too bad. I swear, every time I think I have the Miss one figured out with the markers, I'm always wrong. I thought you can queue heroes until 155. Yeah, we'll have to um get another DPS. We can't queue. Yeah. So we'll walk through whichever one we decide. Mist is a really easy one. Um, I'm a little shady on the those patterns as well, but it's always the odd one out. Um, you want to come in on your demon hunter or your pally, Bell? I'm just sending gold. Oh, okay. I know, but my definition of the odd one out just just doesn't seem to match up, which makes me feel like yeah. Really with me. It's same for me. Like I look at one, it's like okay, this one's different. And then it's not that one, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then other times I'm like right on it, and I'm like, okay, well, how did I figure it out this same time? But I didn't figure it out the last four times. I think I, I just must be too old now. There is also a site. Um, one of the guildies linked it. Um, I'm going to see if I can find it. I'll pin it. Um, and you can like practice it. Has to do it. With, like, the first one you pick, or like, it has, does it have to do with like the first one? Like it, the marker itself will give away what the tri yeah or something. I don't remember, but yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to find where the heck this uh, did this fall back really? Oh, so much chat, so little time. No, it's not that fall back. I skipped it. But yeah, th um, apparently there's a website you can go to to practice what which ones the odd one out. Um, I've had, I haven't used it much uh, myself, but yeah. 
because I'll be like, oh man, but those two both have flowers on them, and then someone attacks the flower with just outlines, and I'm like, but then the flower, then the leaf had outlines too. Doesn't that mean it was the same? Or yeah. So it uh, so there's three things: it's the circles that are around it, whether it's filled in or not, and then what what it is. Yeah, and I just I need to just find some. Oh, here it is. Okay, I pinned it to guild sat. I think Mick will be back here in a second, and then we can get him. Now I'm going to move us to Dungeon Group 2. Nope, that's fine then. I'm at, um, I'm just hanging out by the Flight Master, which is where we want to go. Yeah, so which one do you want to do? Oh, it looks like we might be able to get Giga... Giga. He just finished one. Yeah, um, Kel, I'm gonna give you a lead real quick, cause I'm gonna use the bathroom, so if anyone says something in guild set, you can invite them. And then I do have someone if we don't get anyone. You want the DPS, right? Yeah, we just need a DPS. I'm back. No takers? Not that I've seen, no. Oh, wait, I got one then. Um, Omega will come and DPS for us. Welcome. Okay, I know. Hold on. Let me. I need a necrotic wake, a theater of pain. Oh, I have that one down. Um. So like the what is it the weekly, daily things or whatever they are. Yeah, I need um. Let's see. I need spires of ascension and apparently spires from ascension wow okay um can i share that quest yeah i yeah i think you can but i think i did that one i don't know yeah it says you already are on the quest so it must be because you have the other one mm -hmm. um you guys good with spires of ascension yeah, I could, if, if I was trying to pick whoever had, we have the most people at one spot. That's what I was trying to think we should pick, you know. Yeah, so that we get the most out of it. It's only, you know. What do you have, Bell? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Uh, the um, Orbos quest, pickup quest for dungeons. 
Uh, like what the four mythics are running? No, the other one is below the ba uh, bank. Not bank, below the um, below something. <laughs> below the inn. Well, let me turn. Okay. How about you, Omega? I got spires too. Okay, it might be the same one for everyone then. Yeah. Do you share it? I tried and you're not eligible, it said. Hmm. Let's see if I can try. I got two of them, actually. Two, two for both for spires. Uh, you know, but if we could do theater or pain, that would take care of my weekly for my locale, too, but that's okay. You said where is it? Well, how about... No, because you know I only need 10%, so that's like one chest. So that's like nothing compared to what... Nope. <sighs> Pokes, come here. Alright. So I was going to say, we can either do um, Theodore Payne first for you, or we can do it afterwards. Yeah, either way, what's ever going to help everyone the, you know, easiest first. Alright, oh, Spires isn't too bad. We can get through it fairly quick. Theodore isn't too bad either. I, I think I've been in both of them, but I don't remember. Where's um, Spires at? Spires is in Bastion, Theodore Pain is in Maltraxis. But then, yeah, then it's fine. The other one. Well... If you need theater of pain, because we want to get you geared. No, no, let's go ahead. We're, if everyone's already heading to Bastion, it's fine. I'm not going anywhere. Besides, going to go grab another beer here in a little bit. I'm on for a while tonight. Because I was going to say, we have two people in Mild Vaxxas right now. Oh, yeah, and I'm just at the flight point, obvious. So let's it see. is my home. Well, let's do Theodore Payne real quick first, and then we'll switch to Spires of Ascension. Okay, I'm going to see if I can share this. Then we miss Kyle Locke. Are you talking about, no, are you talking about inside the Hall of Holding? Uh, no, it's, it's underneath the inn, not the bank, the inn. When you go inside the inn, um, in Orbos, there's some stairs that go down on both sides. Yeah, there's like these cartel people, and they got like some stairs back behind them that lead down below them. Okay. Yeah. I will say I'm impressed with the weight group. We're doing well, especially if we're not being technically at item level for that weight. Oh, it's so much better than last week. I, I knew it would be. I, I was literally on a mission this week. I was determined to like, <laughs> at least get closer. Yeah, and I think I everyone know, was. Like, yeah, we were, I mean, so we were, I think I was like, what, 142? And, like, there was a couple 143s. <laughs> yeah, I knew that first week was going to be iffy just because it just came out. So I was like, I'll take whatever we got and we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, well, and it's just, I've been so, I was not expecting just, we got hit with a surprise, like, double up on our workload at work, and it just threw everything. I'll be back in just a second. Okay. Yeah, I got both spires. Okay. So yeah, we'll do um, Tito Pain real quick and then go to spires afterwards. Okay. 
him back. Sorry. Welcome back. Right, so where did we decide? Theater? Or... Yeah, Theater of Pain first. It shouldn't take us long to get through that. And then Spires, because I know Spires is a longer dungeon. Pretty sure it's a longer dungeon. <laughs> Oh, I am at the stone. I am on my way flying. No, you're not. You're getting summoned. <laughs> right, that's fair too. I'll take it. Omega, click. I know you can't see the portal because it co I cover it. <laughs> they really need to fix that. In one of the patches, they made it so when Torrens use the port or anyone uses the summon stone, just push the portal in the middle of you. Well, Torrens are so big. It, yeah, you, I, yeah, I, know, I was looking yeah. away, sorry. It's okay. Because it used to put the portal in front of you, and then one of the patches messed it up. Yeah, it's inside of you, basically. <laughs> yeah. Get Miss Cal so he doesn't have to walk. Walk. That's the hardest thing, it's like trying to find, like... In order to click on it, it's like right up under your armpit. But if I move it just a millimeter, I lose the ability to click on it. I gotta make sure I set these rules for the ones we got left. It's all legs. Tina's casual radar. And I think I got you. Yep. Omega. Yep. Well, now you castle waddle. Okay, cool. I might have missed some from before, but we got most of them. Uh, dungeon difficulty. Can. can you put it? Alright. Oh, we got it. Well, you did, but. Um, Bell, Misk, and Um were, um, not eligible for it, but you were. Okay. Um, can you put the dungeon difficulty to heroic? Thank you. Are we going in? Yeah, go in. I'm just typing something. Uh, can you hear us? Inch. Hold on. Awesome. I've done this one. Uh, it's the one that has stuff on the. Yeah, we're all inside. Um, podiums that can knock you off. Oh yeah. Okay. I think. Okay. Yeah. 
That's the easiest thing to remember in this dungeon. <laughs> oh, who, oh man, I've just been just slamming them and I'm just like, wait, have I been here? Yeah, and I, there's still Maybe. dungeons I haven't done. Well, and I, it still ta it takes me a couple times. Like I have to run them a couple times and kind of get the rotation and then go, okay, I can interrupt these guys or, you know, I can kind of lax here. Yeah. It's, I have to like get the vibe first before I can be like super helpful, so to speak, and that's even in raid. Like I have to kind of get the vibe down, and then once I understand the vibe, then I can be really, really helpful. But you gotta like give me a chance to figure out the rotation. Oh yeah, and that's no problem. I think everyone, in a way, is like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their own yeah way of doing it. Yeah. All right, we're all in. Uh, this. Force part is just tanking like normal. Um, honestly, since it's heroic, you should be fine just tanking as normal, Miss Cal. But we're good when you're good. That's heroic. There's, um, we'll guide you on that. We'll guide you on that. There's not much of a path on this one. It's just straightforward. Yeah, I don't know if all of us have actually even been in here, so we'll don't even worry about it. We're just trying to get through it. Yep, get some gear if there's any gear, and have a good time. And we'll do spires after this for the quests. And well, you will not beat me on DPS. No, not with this lot. <laughs> I would have you otherwise. Why are you popping wings on a trash mob? Oh, it, I. That's a uh, pock. Is that your like, legendary piece? Or something? It's something, I can't remember what. It sounds something. <laughs> Alright, so these next guys just tank them in the middle, and we just have to kill them. It's the boss. <laughs> but Wings has only has a two minute cooldown, so I tend to even, I use it on fast. I just do whatever to get most DPS out. Unless fast dies too fast. I cannot remember if we're supposed to... Can you get aggro on that one in the... Dunk? Explain to me why I'm topping you now on DPS. Yeah, you got me on that one. I spent some time trying to figure out what to do on the guys in the slime. Oh, I need legs. Down we go. Do you need those? I can give them to you. Yeah, I kind of need better than pieces.
Um, Miss Cal need them too. I mean, our pants, both our, me and Miss Cal's pants are both around the same level. Oh, okay. I was going to say you guys could wall for it. So we come up to this um, unfallen guy, right? And then back down to the elevators? It, it can go either way. Um, I, I've done it going the opposite way. I've gone this way first before, but I think it's, it's no set way you go. Uh, yeah, just, yeah, pull some of them back till we clear it out a little bit. Probably right where you're at is fine. Also, Death Knights can mind control these, and oh my god, that hurts. I think I'll take one of these over. Oh, I get one of the elites. Yeah. I think that's the only one in his pack. There we go. All right, let's get these other guys. Just let us know when it's about to expire so we can kill it. All right. So when it has like maybe a minute left. Hang on, I can do this banner here. Okay. Thank you, thank you. There's gonna be stuff pop up over here, I think, right? No? I think I've only done this dungeon twice. Watch out for that. Oops. Should've known it was coming. We did this on Mythic like several times the other day. Oh yeah? Yeah. yeah. Still four minutes left on the pet. Okay, cool. This next boss has chains, so it's a wall of chains. You just have to avoid it and then avoid the chains right behind the hole that you go through. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Just don't go through the first hole and think you're safe. Well, what item level are you at? 177. Yeah, a little bit higher, good bit higher than my DPS set. I'm 169 in DPS. That's only because I have a 155 weapon. Yeah, my trinkets and DPS are crap. Yeah, let's get it. This is the one that would come out. You can get these guys down and then grab that big guy. There you go. And go for these next two mobs, and then we'll kill his controlled afterwards. Oh, 
All right, release it. Could you imagine if you could control a boss like that? <laughs> I can't remember everything about this boss. The main thing I remember is he does do a chain wall, which if you get um, hooked to, you get dragged to the edge, and the edge is bad. Um, there's going to be gaps in it. You'll want to go through that first gap and then dodge the little bit of wall of chains after that. And it's repeat. I just don't remember anything else this guy does. Try to tank him in the middle. Try to kill the ads away from the center because they drop pools, I think. But that may be mythic. I'm getting it confused. Yeah, we'll see. I say DPS them down quick enough so they don't get a chance. Oh, yep, there's ads. And chains. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, they leave the pools, yeah. Oh, I get it now, okay. Yep. I was just slow. It's okay, it takes a second. I was trying to figure out where those ads came in on. Oh, wait, wall's in. And dodge that second one. Just don't feel bad. I got hit by almost every single one of those the first time I did this dungeon. Oh, it changed it up. And there he goes. Good job. Oh, you're fine. If you go this way, there's a shortcut back. Don't even freak I never been in here. Huh? Uh, is, is, is Misk in here? Yeah, Misk is in Discord. I was gonna say, yeah. I don't even feel bad. I This is the first time I've ever been in here. This part we just want to DPS everything down and get through it because those AoEs don't stop. So once we get in here, just watch the floor. There'll be mobs we'll have to fight out here. I'd say push them. Get two, three or four and we should be okay. The first time I came in here, I thought this was a gauntlet and these guys were going to spawn back. Thankfully, they do not. Yeah, actually, that's good that they don't. Yeah, because this would be a pain. Just pull them in here and out from there. Yep. You can pull them in the doorway. Are we doing this the wrong way? No, no, we have to kill all of them regardless. Okay. I had to think for a second, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the last boss is back up top. That's what I had to think about.
All right, so whoever grabs the orb, you want to put it in. We always do the left side of next to this portal. Tank always goes through the portal first because a lot of them will aggro instantly. Go ahead. You got to click on it. <laughs> Same thing, tank always first. You know, this other reminds me of um, the Eye of Eternity. Is that the one with all the dragons in it? Yeah, it is. And the different platforms, for some reason, this kind of reminds me of that one. And then another one. Um, oh, the Light of Legion one. Take down the big guy, Portal Guardian, first. Yeah, I can I'm there's a few one or two dungeons it reminds me of and I don't know which ones or ways. I know I every time is one of them when you go through and do the platforms. But like on this one with the, like a bunch of different platforms too, there is um uh it's the one you do in Legion for like the lights right now. Um you run down, you go to the left, you have to wait till they disable the shield, and there's the construct with the, the shield thing that shoots the lightning at you. I'm blanking. Like the Avoid the tornadoes, you will get flung off the... heads. Oh! Oh god. That ain't good. I got flown off. <laughs> Did we all get hit off? I'm still alive. You ain't alive for long, Val. <laughs> That's the one with the tornadoes. And then most of the platforms afterwards. So we need to be on the outside of that one because that one looks like an apple brown. I've never really done it on the outside of it, but I have done it where... Well. Yeah. Um, I have done it where, uh, where DPS is just, they kind of tank it close to the portal, portal and DPS kind of stands against the portal frame, and that stops you. But, mm -hmm. that's the only thing I think that you can really stop. Okay. Although I think we... Oh, this is the other one. Okay. I'm coming. I'm sort of lost now. No, you're going the right way. Just keep going. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get to the swirly. You can go through here. They won't act well. We took out one of them, it looks like. So we just got one left. And then just try not to pull the stuff on the sides. But yeah, I can't say how many times I've DPS next to this portal frame, and that portal frame saved me from flying off the edge. Just wait on. Ah, uh, that's too close to the mobs over there. Just pull them kind of where we're at. Slow DK, sorry. <laughs> all right, well, you. Interrupt that. There you go. Well, I guess you can't interrupt it. Oh, just go to him. <laughs> well, that's it. That's close. Yeah, I didn't get blown off, but I'm bringing ads. Alright. And 
Mezcal if you want to go through the portal. And it should be pulling mobs instantly. The take out the um dog speaker first thing, that's the one that summons the tornadoes. This is one of the dungeons I do not want to see on a high mythic key. <laughs> Just because of these guys and the last boss. That last one is a nightmare. Especially with the new tornado effects. Yeah. It was easier dealing with Shriek than with her. <laughs> <laughs> I won't argue with that. But that was on what? Were we on a keystone? No, it was just a zero. The one where we have you seen like the new uh... Click on it and then we'll have ads spawn. You seen the new ten plus effects? No, I haven't. You get a prideful ad every twenty percent. There's no ad there? Oh god. There's no ad there? Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> this, there was an ad there when we did it on Mythic. I want to explain this one. Yeah, let me look him up. We probably had a DPS to really not worry too much about the mechanics, except for one of them. The soul pull. Yeah, so if he pulls out your soul, it, it's going to look like a ghost walking around. You need to, if I remember correctly, go grab your soul back. It, um, Because if you don't, while the longer it takes you to get your soul, the more damage you take, because you're taking damage over time. Um, when you get your soul back, it increases your damage dealt by 30% for 30 seconds. You'll see a thing on the ground looks like little, little hands, hands yeah hands coming out of it you don't want to step in it but what you can do if they're pulling if he's if it's pulling your soul out of your body you can get the hands thing between you and the boss and your soul will stop right there and then you can just sort of run through it and get it because it runs around kind of fast so it's not it's kind of tricky to catch up to it sometimes yeah so you can use the grasping hands on the ground to basically stop your soul and give you a chance to grab it. And you'll see us, us do it too. So. Yeah. Um, other than that, that's really it for DPS. Heal or just heal. <laughs> damage. There's a few damaging things. But, yeah. It ain't too bad. It's, it's, it's a pain on Mythic. It can be. But if you can get your souls back when it gets whipped out of you as DPS, you're good. God dang, Val. Gotcha. Well, at least my soul's big. Sounds like she means it. <laughs> I guess the souls start running faster in Mythic. 
Because that wasn't too bad. Nice, it's both. You got upgrades. Not really. You need that then? Um, uh, I don't really need it. If you need it, uh, no, no, I don't need it. I'm talking about for uh, Cal. She still needs the pants too. But I never. Let's see. Hang on. Let me trade. Yeah, that'd be an upgrade for Cal. Oh, man, thank you. Yeah. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't know I was supposed to, like, jump. try to jump. I thought it was just going to, like, take me there. I thought there was, like, some overlap. <laughs> well, you're supposed to take the portal down is what you're supposed to do. I just like jumping. <laughs> oh my god oh shit yeah if you release you'll be I, back I in the middle you know what it was my fault because I just was not paying attention either yeah I just like to do that route just because it's fun to jump and see if I'm lucky enough to make it but we're supposed to take that portal at the end to come back here oh okay well now I know I, yeah I was looking at some stuff I was just paying attention sorry it's <laughs> okay you're not the only one that died I almost didn't make it, that too. This is going to be the fun boss. So when we get to this boss, I get to fight someone in PvP. Hopefully not well. Uh, you be... I suck at it, like, so bad it's not even funny. They won't put the helo down, though. It'll be DPS. Um... Yeah, but well, see, you beat me on your demon hunter. I, where's the stalemate with pallies? I mean, I'm doing high DPS on him. Yeah, you better give. All right, whenever you're ready, Miss Cal. Oh, It's just a regular mob. Let the weapon speak for you. Oh god. Thank God for my shield. Grab that uh, banner, Omega. Awesome. Um, Omega, if you can, uh, grab this captain. Scooch up here, hang on. And then grab everything else, uh, Miss Kyle. There we go. A 
and then the rest of the mobs, let's try and go through quick so we can use this captain on the boss. All right, there's a few things on this boss. Uh, you want to explain it, Omega? Uh, yeah. Um, he'll drop a banner, uh, switch to that, and focus on it, get it down. Um, the dance of the fortune will be boss facing. I'm mumbling here, sorry. Two DPS will be pulled down to duel. Um, yeah, just let one side win or, you know, give it all you got, I guess. <laughs> Ideally, you give that one side win, but if it's me yeah. and Bell, I can't guarantee that's going to happen. No, I, I swear to God, if it's me and you, I'm going to push. I'm <laughs> going to fucking, I'm going to fight you. In high keys, you just let someone win to get it over with. Yeah. In this instance, you can have fun, so. And then he has a cone attack. You have DPS just move yeah, out of it. Yeah. I don't know if the tank can or not. You might be able to. Big things. Kill the banner when he drops them. Yep. Fight each other. Have a beer afterwards. Ready, ready. Or drink. Yep. Or do it. Panel. Watch out for that. Okay, yeah, you can get out of that. That's what it is. Oh, Omega. Mean somebody. You're lucky. Uh, I got my captain to help me. <laughs> Is that going to be enough? <laughs> no. That's I love that. Yeah. Yep, get out of that. We still got two minutes on. Yeah, so. We'll kill him after this one, yeah. yeah. Dang, I was really hoping it would have been me and uh, Bell. You can just kill boss. I was saving wings for you, I hope you know. I that. was too, don't worry, I was. Wings, bubble, lay on hands. <laughs> we have to do a lot to this. Alright, let me uh, release this dude. Alright. This one you just jump down. Don't take the portal, you get put right back up here. You sure we can jump this time? Man? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's back to the center and then we all go up. Then we'll do spires after this, get our quest done and Hopefully get you some more gear. She's hard, but I love this boss. Yeah, it's not bad on heroic. It's bad on keystones. I just think she's cool looking. 
Yeah. Yeah, I just have to see it so I can understand how it works. Yeah. You want us to explain anything or you want to go in blind and figure it out? Let's go blind. That's easier for me. All right, let's go blind. Hey, I do pretty decent, I think. Yeah, I do too. I learn best going in blind. Last one? Yes, she's the last boss. Watch out for that. Oh wow, they don't drop the mobs on this one, do they? Yeah, it's just mythic. Not easy. No ghosts, horses either. Yeah, this is really easy. Anyone need that wing? Oh, uh, you guys roll on it. You know, actually, it's not that great for me. So never mind. All right. I mean, <laughs> some of the stats are at least too much on some of the stats, so I don't like it. Okay, no problem. All right, all yours, uh, Miss Cal. And you rolled a one, so... We probably could do some ammos. Yeah. I want to get the spice of a sensing out of the way, though. Oh, yeah, let's go do that one, yeah. Did you try to share that with me? That one with me? Uh, you have them. No, you don't have them. Um, I did try. It said you're already on a quest. Oh, or something. So I was on the other version of it. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you drop it, if I'll be able to share it, because everyone else, it was not eligible. All right. Get out of here. Uh, just walk back up the stairs where we entered. Yeah, I'm just messing around. They, they, they smack you back. Sometimes <laughs> you can, like, get through it. Between them if you hit it just right and get farther in. Yeah, I've done it. Uh, okay, I was like, <laughs> Oh, it's a Spires of Ascension. I guess I'm playing with oil boat. I mean, horsing back to oil boats. Is that Bastion? Yeah, Bastion. wasted like 700 anima earlier because I finally got the next level of renown where it said okay you can now have the Maldrax's Hearthstone you have to buy it so I go to the vendor and I buy it I'm thinking okay cool now I thought it was like the Dalron Hearthstone it's like okay now I got one solely for Maldrax's and then I can set my normal one for Orbos no as soon as you set the normal one it sets the one that you get from Maldrax's to Orbos yeah the, like any other Hearthstone you get from it from like vendors is like a toy. Yeah, I was just so heartbroken. <laughs> like, 
but Bastion, my covenant area. Oh, Mescal got here quick. As soon as I get one more over here, we can summon. Oh. What do you guys think about the new um, uh, command table? I'm not really sure, like, actually how I feel about it yet. I'm all, uh... It's basically the same concept. That's a little different now, though. I like the I mean, way they changed it. it. Same concept, both like different. It, like, I don't feel like I absolutely have to do these. Which is nice. Yeah, I like that too. That's like, I think the difference, that's what's going on. So I can like work on other stuff. It's like, okay, I already have this really like kind of long tile list of things I'm trying to look through and make sure I understand. I'm, I'm kind of getting caught up, but God fucking damn it, people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that they made it to where it's not something you have to do anymore. And yeah. overall, just for the entire end game there's a lot of things you don't have to do anymore and it's more manageable yeah i just i'm like and that's what i've been working on getting caught up to is that point you know where like in the morning before work i can log in for 30 minutes and 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 get like a lot accomplished without you know getting a lot accomplished i guess so to speak yeah i get and what you mean nice. yeah at some point it's supposed to give you so much but I've been running them regularly, and I still haven't seen Soul Ash as a reward. On Torgax? No, in the, on the table. It's supposed to, it's, it's like... Oh, I haven't seen that. I didn't realize that. I just kind of got the vibe that it was just yeah. kind of gimmicky and not necessary. Yeah, yeah, it's, and it's still, it's not enough to write home about. Bell, uh, the Bellular guy on YouTube talks about it. It's only like five or six Soul Ash, so it's... You know, but over the if if you ran them regularly over the course of the month, it would add up. But I still haven't seen one offering that yet, so I don't know what you have to do to get to that. So. Uh, yeah, I just that just kind of seems like fluff to me. Yeah, I check yeah. It on my app when I'm, I, you know, I got the app at work and I check on it occasionally just to. And but the thing is, most of the times on them are like four to twelve hours, so it's not like you can run a bunch at work and just kind of check on it. You run one, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I think the way they made the app is so that you could store it off at the beginning of your day and then kind of check on it at the end of your day. But I like how they didn't... Like, the rewards aren't that great, 
but I like that because it doesn't make you feel like you have to do them. Yeah, like you're not obligated. Yeah, exactly. That's what I think I was trying to say. Is like I didn't feel like I was like obligated to run these. I was like, eh, I'm not really impressed. I'm just going to ignore it. And I totally could ignore it, and I like that. Yeah, and it's like you don't have to get it either. Like if you don't want it, you don't have to get it. And I love that. Um, we're going to Spires of Ascension, Bastion. Yep, I'm, I'm, I'm almost there. I'm running. God, and this zone is so pretty. I uh, yeah, I oh, love this zone. I like the colors. Yeah, this is my one, my favorite zone out of all of them. Yep, it's my home zone too. I was like skulls too much, so yeah. I also like how world quests all went. Don't feel like you have to do as many of them anymore. Yeah. Um, no, and that's true too. Like, I, there's definitely some differences I do like for sure. Um, because I was actually really starting to stress out. I was like, oh, I'm gonna be so far behind because of work. I'm not gonna be able to, you know, put 20 hours in this week to get caught up. And then, like, I started working on it Friday night, kind of aggressively. And then today, and it was like, oh, actually, that that was kind of cool. Okay, I I can deal with that. All right, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with it because I'm like, yeah, you got to do your Covenant stuff, but the Covenant stuff isn't always World Quests. It's sometimes, you know, just doing a dungeon or doing a one or two World Quests in one of these yeah. zones. And I'm like, that's yeah, not bad. Just, yeah, and I'm just like, I, I'm almost to like, I feel like I'm pretty much at the caught up point and it wasn't too bad to get caught up. Like, yeah. You know, if I fall behind again, it's not going to be like a, um, you know, hop, skipping, you know, it's not going to be excuse me, crazy to get, you know, caught back up. Exactly. And I'm going to have to catch up on my Winone, but it's still capped at like either 9 or 12 at this point. And yeah, it's, 12. it's not too bad to get caught up. Everyone here? Or do we need to summon yeah, anyone? I'm pretty sure I'm at 12 actually too on mine. I didn't realize it was capped. Yeah. Now that I do like, I like how it's not an endless grind so it's when you get to a certain level it's like okay i'm done i can concentrate on something else for the rest of the week yeah you gotta be careful though because it will eat up one of those tokens if you can't go up anymore oh it, yeah. so it's 12 yeah this week it goes up by three every week oh see and that's the other problem though is that there's so much like stuff i I drive while I'm work. I don't. I'm not like in an office while I'm working. I'm driving, so I can't like, you know, be surfing the web while I'm, you know, driving two hours somewhere. Yeah. And so I miss out on that stuff, and so I'm like, oh shit. Trying yeah. to, and that's what I'm really trying to catch up on is all that. Yeah, and honestly, with the fact that they capped it, I think it's really good because that means you can't get too far behind. Yeah, so I'm at Renown 12, so I'm pretty much done for the week, right, then. Yeah, I'm at 6. I got 6 more to go. Yeah. And so, like, when you start an alt, your cap is whatever it is for that week so far. So, by the time you get to it, you know, you'll have a bunch of campaign quests and stuff to burn through. But you can, like, get all the Renown you need in, like, a day of just doing that because you'll get caught up to the cap. Yeah, I need to figure out what alt. I'm gonna run through. I gotta. Yeah, I gotta. Sorry. It's all right. I'm just waiting for Vel. I don't think he's ready for the summon yet. Probably gonna mess him up when it comes popping up on his screen. <laughs> hey, welcome, Vel. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm going to have to level up my warrior because he's my level um, 50. But I'm probably not going to have many alts. I never play alts anyway, so I don't know. I have at least one DPS alt outside of... Because I just, like, if I log into my shaman, I just assume I'm healing on her. 
and it's really hard for me to differentiate, so I like to have a DPS on Wing Tune too. Yeah, I understand that. Like, my Warrior is my tanking tune. Um, I don't really play him much, though. I, I just can't get into multiple tunes. I get stuck on just one guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Miss. I just, I, I have to, like, as soon as I log into my Shaman, I already know the vibes, right? Like, at the buttons, I know that, and it's really hard for me to go to Ellie. Um, and then if I do get established in Ellie, then it's really hard for me to, yeah. So I just have, I have to work on a separate DPS tune. My own sanity helps me. It is, yeah, exactly. All right, we all ready? Hey, um, Miss Cal and Vel, I think one of you are wanting the same aura, or both of you. Okay, someone's missing the bosun. Uh, we got three pallies, so <laughs> trying to figure out who has what ore. What? What ore are you wanting? Um, well. Okay, Miss Cal, if you are con concentrating, well, go to Vosin. I'm so happy I got Paladin's got ores back. I was missing them. I do think they need to bring back where it's abusing ore like it used to be in um, Burning Crusade and Classic. Not this uh, when someone dies. <laughs> yeah, but you know how they are. Yeah, I know. Can't ever get everything. Oh, okay, well, well, that's kind of pointless. There we go. Yeah, this one's nice. There's some ports that's a pain on Mythic, but Heroics, not bad. Looks a lot better too. So for this boss, both the, both of them are the same boss. They share health. Just avoid the stuff the flying one sends out.
tank the uh, main guy and you'll be good. When he goes up in the air, focus add. Oh god. Those things are fast. Yeah, um... Yeah. <laughs> uh, usually for the healer to, or any cast... Oh, I forgot about that. Um, usually for the healer or any caster, a good safe spot is always behind the board. I didn't know how fast those things were going to be shooting out on the world. I didn't think it was necessary. Yeah, I mean, I, I get them now, but it took me a death. Sorry. It's okay. You don't want to know how many times I died the first time I did this. Hey, there we go. Ooh, is that an upgrade for you? No, actually, surprisingly, on the chest. Oh, well, at least you got a um, conduit. Oh, I was actually kind of eyeing that one, too, so good. Okay, perfect. Nice. Yeah, there's a couple I'm kind of eyeing. I'm like, based on my play style, this might work good. Good, good. Right, and then these mobs, whenever you're doing it on Mythic or a Keystone, you can skip them by staying completely to the left side. On the road or just on the grass? The okay. Yeah. Because I'm assuming with how many they are, they probably hit pretty hard on Mythic. Yeah. Where'd he go? Oh. Oh, hey, Bruno. Uh, yeah, we're giving up some guildies. Tank and healer aren't waiting for mythics yet. Uh, focus on one of these big guys. Uh, this guy.
I'll grab this spear over here. Oh, and see, Miss Gal, I told you you were fine for heroics. Yeah, me, Omega, and Vel. Well, mainly Omega and Vel have some pretty decent DPS. You can pull them. Yep. Yeah. Get you guys geared up so we can do some mythics. I still need to do four mythics sometime before Tuesday and not die. That hurts a lot. <laughs> Bring him down here. After this mob pull, I need like one second to figure out what's going on with the thermostat. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, wait on uh, Kalyon to get back. Oh, Fell's not in. Can't hear us. Hi, the kid was just freezing to death. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it's Michelle. Yeah, here. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you got it set at. 80? And that's freezing? Well, because I had, it, I had turned it off for a while because it was nice outside. It was like 60 for a change. Okay, no, it was actually only like 40. But it was really nice, and so I had like the front door open onto our porch. So I turned the heater off, and she's like, yeah, the heater's got to turn it on. I'm like, well, yeah, because I turned it off because I wanted fresh air. Yeah. She checked 80, and I just said, okay, fine. So she's good. Uh, she saw our kids. Yeah, ready. And uh, Miss Cal, you were so lucky with that BOE. My god. Actually. Yeah. I've never seen that part before. We got through it, it's okay. A lot of people make the mistake of pulling both those um boards and that pack on accident and on mythics. And boy That's a challenge. <laughs>
But yeah, Miss Scott, once your item low gets to about 160, you can pretty much do um, Mythic Zeros with a guild group or guildies. We've cleared a um, plus two keystone when our item levels were around 160, 165. That'll boost your gear up a good big bit from Mythic Zeros. No, no, and that wasn't messy. I was uh, looking at something, so I was slightly distracted. It was not you. It was me. Okay, so this next boss, I don't know how many mechanics are mythic and how many are in heroic. But, um, yeah. So, let me look it up. Heroic. Okay, so... He'll drop essentially what would be circles or spears on the ground, which have bolts coming out of them. And I think it goes counter. Well, it just depends. It'll either go clockwise or counterclockwise on where it's sending the bolts. And if you get hit by a bolt, you get knocked up into the air and take 8k damage. Wait, what? What? How? Oh, okay. Um, let's bring him back to the center. He got near those NPCs and he saw you. Hey. Oh, well, I guess that resets it. <laughs> He'll be spawning in the center here in a second. Let's go in blind. Be okay. Did we break it? Alright, he reset. Oh, okay. I didn't realize he was one that could be reset that easily. <laughs> He'll be back in like a minute or two. It's not like it's a five, it's not like it's an hour cooldown. I had forgot. Lay on hands in classic has a one hour cooldown. I found that out that day. Do you see where each floor in, in Torgas now resets your cooldown? Always mm. a full minute. Does it? Yep, it does now after the nerf. I hate that nerf so much. I really do. I did floor six as I mean layer six as easy as if it was layer one or two. Yeah, eight now is about the level of what six used to be. Hmm. Where do you all? This is where you meet your end. My celerity is set to none. All right, there's the all um, move the boss away from me a little bit. Give us a little room. There we go. That should be fine. My celerity is set to none. Now they're all right on top of boss.
just suck. Hey, try it on uh, Mythic. <laughs> well, I've never seen it before, but like I get it a little bit now. I'll have to do it like a couple more times. So I still can't get that on Mythic. Yeah, I, I forgot all about all those mechanics. Yeah. Because, I mean, even then, I still got hit by them. There's a sweet spot you can find, but I have yet to find it. Because when he goes in that next phase, we almost had him killed, but he goes to that phase, like, halfway through, and you have to deal with those and then, like, orbs. The orbs, like, shoot super fast, and it took me a minute to realize kind of what was going on. Yeah. Yeah. I still don't know how to deal with it. Like, I just hope we kill him in time that before we all die. <laughs> such a forgettable boss it's so easy to forget everything he does the, i mean the main one i remember is the last boss we hit just because it's so much fun to grab the little orbs and get the spear loaded and all that stuff yeah if you guys want to learn to skip for this area we can do the skip thank you for repairs All right, so this one. I try to do it. I'm not very graceful, so I might accidentally do it. And be okay. Just pet. It's hard to tell. Just come around this edge. Yep. Well, yep. Yeah. Okay. But there's the first skip. There's a second skip we can fly. Don't pull those mobs in the back. Oh, so the next skip is easy, as long as you don't pull them going to it. You just hop up this way. You don't have to hop up there, and you just go around this edge. Then you just drop straight down, hug the wall, and if you had a rogue, you could skip these next group, but with no rogue, you... you can either in yeah you just have to fight him if you can't get past that one guy yeah that works can we go by nope yeah you have to have cloak of saturns for it get this big guy over here there we go I don't know what I have aggro on. And you can avoid most of this over here. You just follow this, and then anything you pull, you just line aside it. Also, why am I going first? I said let the tank go first. <laughs> line aside it on this pebble. But they're not elite, so they're easy to take out. This boss, stack up when we get that um, arrow on top. Don't stack hard, but just stack a little bit. And then when he goes in second phase, we'll grab the orbs before they come to him. That's all it is. You'll have to kite the boss a little bit as we make puddles. We do when you will.
that's what you want. I'm gonna move it out. He'll do it one more time. Move the boss a little bit farther away from it. Just a little. There you go. Stack it up. And then once the orbs start coming towards him, you'll want to, uh, each person should grab one or two orbs. It does damage, and the more orbs you grab, the more damage it does. Wait for it to come to you, though. Alright, this is where the orbs should start coming. Yep. And you just grab one or two. And you'll have that. Oh, the debuff doesn't exist on heroic. Okay. But if they reach the boss, it does massive AoE damage. Oh, finally! I actually got an upgrade! <laughs> Yep, that is going to replace my crappy 130 trinket. Trink nice. BS, though I can't mine him. My Kraybor. <laughs> well, you might get lucky. You all have done this boss before, right? Yep. Okay. Um, uh, I'll just. Do. I've never been here. Sorry. No, it's okay. I just wanted to see if I need to explain it or not. So. I can get through. What now? I can do this spear. Okay. I need a too long didn't read. I'm sorry, could you say that again? Too long, didn't read. You know, a TLDR. Oh, a yeah. TLDR. Okay. I've been able to hold it called that. Only TLDR. <laughs> um, pretty much, there is some trash we can click, um, go ahead and kill. So these guys flying up here, we can pull down and kill. Um, when the boss does come, pretty simple. It's basically, if you have something on you step out of group pull if it's in a heroic version there's a bubble that comes up that you want to step in uh and stay in there until it goes away pretty much bring boss back to it second phase there's wind and orbs you just each person grabs an orb and puts it in the center thing right here for the um spiel and someone shoots it at the boss that will be flying and will be You're welcome. Yeah, uh, but you talk about the circle is only mythic. Is it only mythic? Okay. I have no clue what um, mythic and heroic anymore.
One more. I just hear a start on this one then? Yeah, you can. Um, the spear is gonna be wide in the middle, so it should be fine. For a second, I thought she was wearing a Christmas hat. She is. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> yeah, they probably all are, even the old old stuff. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. I think they're happening with enemies and bosses. Waiting when you all. Going in lust. See how fast we can take her down. Alright, so that is where you want to bring outside of our group bell because it drops puddles. Uh, move the boss a little bit. Oh, you can't because it's phasing. Yeah. Alright, see those orbs? You just walk into them, go back to the center. And avoid the stuff on the ground best you can. There's one more. Where's the other one? Uh, okay, Omega's gone. Yeah, I didn't mean to, sorry. You're good. Forget she moves. Yeah, you gotta do it as soon as, soon as you get it through. One more time. With the orbs. Sorry about that. Okay. I've done it before too. Well, when you get near the edge, like I got my camera pulled all the way back, and so when I get near those on the edge, it jerks the camera around and I can't see the things on the ground. Yep. If you can dispel, that'll be good. Oh! Get me healed! <laughs> oh yeah, this ain't gonna happen. Oh, maybe. I blame them. <laughs> no, I think that was probably on me. I was a little laggy and I didn't realize that, um... That stuff was casting dispellable stuff on it until it was kind of a little bit too late. No, no, it's not your fault. It's we missed on the first spear. Usually, if you miss on the first one, that debuff ends yeah. up stacking pretty high. Yeah, I'm using LVI, and so whenever that happens, when it's, I, I didn't actually mean to do the spear. I was just bringing a ball to it. I thought maybe once all the balls are there, whoever the last one is to bring one is the one that does the spear. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to not oh, no. do the spear. But anyway, LVI, it, it, for the attack for the spear, it moves the button off to the side, and it's really awkward. Oh. But yeah, just usually if you miss one spear, it's hard to recover from it, depending on the group setup. But once all the orbs are in, you just right click on. Anyone can right click on it. Just throw it.
Hvor er det? Is that all that is? Nope, there it goes. I'm gonna lay on hands myself. I need healing. Oh, someone. There we go. Oh, Miss Khan, when you get that, you can just stay in your spot. It's fine. And then we just move the boss afterwards. Someone use his spiel. Good job. There we go. Sorry, there's like so much hey. going on with that. Don't worry about it. That is not an easy one to heal. That um, that uh, second phase with this fuel. Unless you have like um, AOE to remove all those debuffs, it's almost impossible to keep it all off everyone. Since I only have. Cause since I can only cleanse one at a time, I just take it off whoever has the highest amount. Yeah, it was just awkward. I first time I'd seen it, and I just like I said, if I run him a few times, I usually do okay. Yeah. But the first time, I'm always kind of conservative, and you know. Oh yeah, it's no big deal. We got through it. We wiped a lot more on our first one through off this as a guild. <laughs> I think Omega was there. Yeah, this is also the one where we had the uh, the dickhead uh, demon hunter the other night. Remember? Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. As soon as we kicked him and we got a different guy, we finished it in one try, or two yeah. tries. I have a memory now, so I can finish the other stuff. Nice. And I got four quests to turn in now. Yeah, I have like a bunch too. <laughs> yeah. Orbius. Yep. And then one in Maldraxxus because I was too stupid to not, and I didn't turn it in before I left there. Oh. Um, yeah, I have that one too. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys got some upgrades. That's good. 
Can't believe I got to upgrade too. I'm just really excited for um the you know Saturday night group looking so good. Oh, I am too. That I mean, even though you know we didn't kill the second boss, it wasn't because we weren't doing mechanics. It's just you know we just need that little bit more gear. Yeah, a little bit more oomph. Yeah. And just a little practice on that last transition, but we were nailing it. Tell, oh yeah, I could tell each transition time like that we made it past. I could tell by how much mana and how I felt about healing each time. I was like, oh, man, it took longer this time to like hit that point of, oh shit, we're doomed. And each time it, it kept getting longer and longer to hit that time. Yeah, everyone was adjusting really well. I'm so happy with how the group's turning out. What eye level do you think we should be for that? For, well... Uh, norm normal was 170, I thought. For casual, yeah. Now, that's our, um, our own eye level requirements. But in real, like, if you're being honest about it, that raid requires at least a 175, 180 to clear easily. Oh, I'm 184, so... Yeah, but because I know we can do it, I and it's a casual raid, I allow for low item levels. But it, I don't know if they tuned it yet or not, but it was over tuned. But I'm happy with how everything's turning out. It's much better than last expansion. Well, I'm going to hop off here and do some. Uh casual stuff and uh, probably turn in so I need um, I got two mythics I gotta run for the weekly tomorrow so if some of y'all are on and feeling froggy look me up yeah I'll be on I'll need them I need four <laughs> and I'm about to do the same so awesome. thank you guys good dungeons good job thank you thank you and talk to you guys later Alright, thank you everyone for watching the stream. Did pretty good on the for our casual group on the um raid and got a few heroics done, so I'm happy. You all have a good night.